Oh, he is, ain't he? Get him out of there. Yeah. Get him out of our lines. The baby. The baby, and he may have come off. Come off. Well, we're live, and nobody's in here, but Jacob had a fish and lost it. <laughs> Jacob let him go. So, There's a baby. I went early on my show. Should I do the countdown? No, it's too late now. Scale on your book. Yeah, Look at good. that. Why are you leaving scale on your Rookie book? Rookie mistake. Listen, is scale it? Scale on the hook. Look for at me. you. Lost the biggest fish of the day. So that, was, far. that was a solid, like, oh. That was a flathead. That was probably a 90 or 100 pounder. At, at least. least. <laughs> okay. Hey, hey, Lynn. Hi, Mid South. Mid South is the second first. And they have already lost the fish, but it wasn't me. So it was a giant. We know it was because they left a scale on the fish. Kids, always um, remember that was a, I did that as a video demonstration. That's right. Yeah. Okay. So that way, everyone out there in YouTube land would know not to put scales on their hooks. Ashley said, "Hey, y'all. Well, Why didn't?" What do you mean? A lot of fish hey, Mike Young. Welcome in. You have to watch that thing going up in the water. I don't know why it's tilting because the boat's tilting. Mm -hmm. Back and forth. Well, I guess I'm gonna have to hold it. What's up, y'all? It looked like a good bite. It didn't look like a dink when bite. I, when I reeled down on it, though, I don't. You know, if you lose them, it's never a dink bite. Yeah. I think it was a dink bite, but that's just me. I was not impressed. I wasn't impressed. I want to see you catch one and keep it on. I should have gone ahead and picked up the rod. And Jacob oh, Ashley said, hey, y'all. You're Ashley. Hi, Ashley. You saint. We'll see you when Jake goes I'm down to back Florida. Snappers. He uses rubber hooks. I'm doing back. He don't he forgets to change them when he gets up here. He's okay. using backstabber circle hooks. Uh, you're yeah, on your way home from Florida. Florida. Awesome. Here we go. Oh, you get a good sound. Get him. Oh, he let it. There get you him, go. Ricky. He, he got get it. Him, Ricky. Get him, Ricky. Get him, Ricky. He ain't got it in his pie hole yet. He's chewing on. That's why I said she's a saint because she puts up with you. Then marks we went over are probably fish. That's right. What's up, hunting and stuff? Hunting and stuff is in the they house. They are gizzard trap, but <laughs> what the heck? So I want y'all to know that I went to, we, Travis was like, let's take a nap. And then we'll get up and cook something to eat and go fishing last night. Oh, I knew once I laid down for a nap, I was done for. So it was about 7 o'clock last night when I laid so down. I fishing with you Slept fishing? all night. It was ridiculous. Huh? Travis ain't gonna fish with you. Where? Come on, fish that big king cat tournament. Who? Uh -huh. Jacob. He ain't got no line. Well, I got. Uh huh. I got my big. They they don't require anything. Specific. Hey, Dale. Got, what's up? Well, no, no. They require oxygen. I got a floater oxygen thing. What's up, uh? My live well has oxygen. My hello, big hello. Box. I have this right there. It's a floating airhead pump, and it pumps his all the oxygen. We go fish if you want to next week. That's Ricky the machine. You want to do it? And that's Jacob. I like them. They're fun. When is it? Friday and Saturday? Oh, it's Saturday. One day. One day? Yeah. It's a trailer tournament, too. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh huh. You'll have fun fishing that one. I, I wouldn't. It our, your ramp. Put it in your ramp. I honestly wouldn't put it past. It Ashley, it, it's his walk, girlfriend, Ashley. Park, two over, one under. No, the wind, the wind's going to be at Lad Landing because of the uh, shallow water. Not our it's Ashley. It's Ashley. It says Kingston City Park. I know, but they changed it because of the water conditions. He wouldn't be far from right. Uh -uh. So I'm saying, if Kevin don't fish it, let's do it. We can do three in a boat, and I'll, I mean, I'm, I don't think he's mine. I think if it's his, we could do. No, three they're not in YouTubers hunting and stuff. They're, so they're friends of ours. If he just want, you know how he is. He just wants sometimes sit and chill. Say, look, man, we'll, we'll that way we split it three ways. It'd be only be a hundred bucks a person. 
I want to do it. I, it's Jacob's I boat that we always go out on. So most of the time, if you see us out on the boat, it's Jacob's boat. And if you don't weigh in, you get a plaque and, and a free entry into one of the tournaments. What is the skunk ward? Yeah. The skunk plaque. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I got one of those. What's the entry on here? 311 20 something. That's for boat. For boat. For boat. And you up to three people. Names are our birthday presents. Uh, 10, rod, 10. No, 10. Is it 10 rod limit now? 10 rod limit. Fuckers. <laughs> I should 14. Well, that was a short bite. It's over. It's over. Yeah, it's, it's, it's real long. Yeah, it's over. Move. I don't like to see that first one, but I don't think it was much. Oh, oh. back. You gonna go with them? That's a quiet head. Dead gummy. Get him. Get him. All right. I'll come back and get him. I know, right? I push his both out of boat and get him. As we have. I think he's a little flat. <laughs> I'm kind of scared. I, 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 I might not be able to reel him in all this current. I have it's it. Jacob who owns the boat and Ricky Dean, the fishing machine. We did a, a the benefit know? tournament for him last fall. Where that fish was biting, he looked like it might be me. He get ready to move when he's smoking. He get ready to lay it down, ain't he? Mm -hmm. Lay it down, baby. No. Yeah, I'll get him excited. Danny said they had one today. Okay, it's still just it's nibbling, 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 nibbling. My favorite is still when you're not paying you're attention. On, uh, right? Bar. I love when you're not paying attention, then you look up and you look around, and you're like, you see rod, 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 and you scan, and all of a sudden one's absent from the horizon, then you scan back and it's down. Well, the boat's spinning yeah. in a circle. Dale said, stupid glitter rockets. And you still can't find Exactly. Well, look, we're getting Hey, pre retirement days. <laughs> Everywhere. <laughs> we're jigging. Oh, we're getting bit. Yeah. Welcome Ooh. in. Shake that rattle, baby. Shake that rattle. Watch that fact they moved them some they get this little flat headed thing. Here's hung Travis. Was that just the way it's hung in that fish? Did you ask if he was hung? Yeah, I'm pretty hung. That's none of your business. It is my But I'm not I'm not unhappy. <laughs> You don't remember that one night, Jacob, when you said, what's that hanging down there? <laughs> Daddy, what is that? <laughs> Daddy? We're on Fort Loudon. It's not a river. We have current tonight, though. It's a lake. Got it's on the Tennessee River system. It's an impoundment of the Tennessee River. It's a reservoir. Man, so who is high? Why won't y'all share? I still think of it as a river. <laughs> I think of all our lakes and rivers. What's a liver? In South Carolina, the Mid -South, lakes you like still didn't fit your kite? Hey, Adventure America. What's up? What's up? In Texas, they're like lakes. In Florida, they're like big giant ponds. Yeah. Florida, you find one 30 foot deep. That's a deep ass lake. A lot of them top out at like 20. What in Florida? Yeah. He, he actually probably could flip it on dry land. Are you watching? Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. I mean, that's flat, isn't it? I think it's a little channel cat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you sure? Mm hmm. I think it's a teeny flathead. You ain't going to catch no channel cat out here. No? He'll get, he'll get eat. In the channel? No, there's some big critters that live out. Texas has mostly reservoirs. I've not caught a giant 
done out there. Yeah, these I've are uh, several of them, like 30 to. Most of this stretch of Tennessee River is a series of lakes. They put a bunch of dams on it. Oh, that's pretty good. In the name of flood control. 60 plus. I, I caught a 50 less this time last year. Only one natural lake in Texas. I caught one other one that was, I weighed at 45 years back. It's a good spot. It's a, it's a feed zone. It's active every. I mean, there's fish every time. Yeah. Almost year round. This is where I caught, I caught that big striper with Rutherford. We were dragging just a. They use man made reservoirs for drinking water. That goose sounds like a dog barking. <laughs> That's it up, Goose. No hunting stuff. I'm not in the tournament that started the day, the King of the Tennessee River tournament. No. It's probably going to be a pretty good turnout at that tournament, though. I don't have a uh, access to a boat for like that. So those are geese. That's a goose. They just sound like dogs barking. Here. Yep. Right behind you on the blue rod. Yeah, I heard it. Mm -hmm. That fish is running with it. Oh. For me to hear it moving? I'm, I'm surprised it wasn't hitting you in the back. Hey, Sandy, I'll let you reel this one in. I don't want to reel that one in. <laughs> I ain't doing it. Blue, that makes two fish you've lost. You got a scale on that one, too? That, that was a good fish. In their mouth. Travis cut bait that was like a 20 ounce porterhouse. <laughs> Lisa and them are in third place. Yeah, I saw that Lisa and uh, Yak Shore. And... I mean, that fish was hitting hard enough. I could hear it rug. Listen, and I'm deaf. I could be a queen if I wanted to. Oh, he didn't. I had the boat spinning in a circle. <laughs> so, as a dinkus, I'm a queen in my own mind. Yeah, when you catch him, and he's got a scratch <laughs> mouth where the hook was on the other side of his mouth, and he's pushing 93 pounds. You'll call him a dick, dink then too, won't you? <laughs> yeah. Never heard of Lisa. <laughs> Matt South said Lisa never heard of him. That there she is. They conjured you up. B F F F F F F F. What's up? Nine pounds. Jacob keeps missing fish back here on the back of the boat. I'm trying, guys. I've never done this before. Jacob's doing what they call selective fishing. He's yeah. culling them before he gets them in. Is that what I reeled down and had yeah. that. I was about to say, Sandy, I'll let you get this one. No. It's like. They ain't no you letting me notice get nothing. that thing though when I'm like, Cindy, you real one. It's your show and it's like a dink. But when that rod buries, I know it. You I have it. my shoulders bowed up, my elbows are out, blocking everyone out. It's like a That's post. That's a fact. I'm like a post up player in the paint and in, in, in basketball, boxing <laughs> everyone out. It sounds so Jacob. Oh, you look like that big boat. cartoon of that big guy that's in the square <laughs> shape, like. Like yeah. a marshmallow or something in there. Number, <laughs> number, number three in the tournaments and number one in our hearts. Jake, Jacob says he knows how to rooster up and puff. Jacob knows how to puff. He knows how to puff up. I don't know exactly what he's blowing on, but. Well, no, do we? <laughs> Could be one of his magic sinkers. <laughs> Mid South says, Dale, you, you know suck up. That's why I'm getting bit. Yeah, I know. Mid South has never stayed dry in a kite. That's why you're not hooking them up. They're chewing on your sinkers. <laughs> <laughs> them being the shape sinkers. Hey, I'll tell you what's funny. Ask Travis how many of our uh, inline sinkers we, we put hooks on a couple years ago down below the dam. Uh-huh. We were wearing out the skipjacks on sinkers. Yeah, I believe that. I think part of the time when they... Uh, when you've got them inline sinkers on and you miss them, I think half the time they're, they're hitting them shiny sinkers. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, so we started putting sinkers on them. Oh my goodness. Them out. Dale makes you wet. 
Mid South is he, he's not doing so well with the ladies, so he's branching out. Mm -hmm. Gummy, gummy. Just so gummy up. Uh, okay. I promise. You. Yeah, I think him and Randy got something going on. Well, yeah, him and Randy were flirting the other day. Fall down. <laughs> Dale says, as long as I don't make you moist. <laughs> he didn't say moist. He, he said flat out, straight up wet. You dirty boys. Y'all need to get a room. <laughs> That's what he's using for bait, too. Ashley does to put up with you. That's why I called her a saint earlier. I forgot to Speaking put the marshmallows on my hook. Speaking of gummies, I love those. Um, is it Starburst gummies? Or no, those Lifesaver gummies. <laughs> those are good. <laughs> Not the gummies. Huh? Not the gummies. What? No. <laughs> But not the gummy. You're a gummy. <laughs> gummy. Y'all like those anvils? I love these anvils. They're really, really bright. They can sell one coming. Right, good. I got two more coming. You don't know. Which? Right. Blue or black? Inside. Yours. The red reel. Come on, fishes. Randy said, don't laugh at me and my boy. <laughs> oh, my. Mid South said, I hope Cindy is a good kisser because she can kiss my uh, grits. Listen. You need your grits kissed, Mid South? Jeez. It's kind of, you know. It's kind of gross. It's weird. You can't get away from them skunk. You smell them even out here on the water. Oh, it's crazy. Hey, Austin. Welcome in. Well, stop. Well, that's great. I lay down. It's going to breeze well, a little. down here anyway. I figured it would down here. It's going it to it. breeze up a little after dark. But I'm ready for them to raise the water back up in the lake. They already did, but the commercial fishermen took so many catfish out of the lake, this is what's left. <laughs> No, we didn't go to the bar to get fatties this time. We're on Loudon. Fort Lousy. Used to be Lady Loud. Now it's Fort Lousy. Yep. First few years, I called it, we called it Lady Loud. I hate to even tell people I'm on here for catching big fish, though. Because <laughs> I don't want them going back. That's why I like when... when can you be so funny? You could go on the bank, <laughs> and you felt like you felt like you're like I'm gonna get a forty fifty. Pound. A seagull said, "Hello, not boy. You know Find himself a date. He's got a yes, girlfriend with him." I know y'all, but like, I remember getting thirties and forties off the bank. Hey, nephew Austin, do irregularly. Mm -hmm. Gobble 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 gobble. We Austin said we need to get a few tickets. Maybe we'll, pretty normal. we'll have some maybe for yeah, tomorrow maybe night. Thirty-five pound fish. Off the We're bank. probably gonna go live tomorrow night. I know I'm catching a stick. A massive bite. A massive oh. quarter inch strike. I hope it gets itself off. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Austin. I appreciate it. We'll get some tickets for tomorrow night. Whoop whoop. Lady said, I busted that Fort Lousy. You can see the uh, their emojis now. That must have been a change at StreamYard made. 
You don't have to sink pink, open mouth, whatever, whatever, whatever. That's before Catfish Dave started bow fishing the catfish so he could get all dramatic. <laughs> I appreciate you a lot. It'd be funny if all four rods go off at the same time. I wish we'd get a quadruple up. I lost my stick fish. It's gone. Now it's coming after Jacob's boat over here. Here, let me flip the camera around here on something that's moving. Come on, fish. We want you right now. Jacob's in the back of the boat jigging. Jigging jig one up. He's getting jiggy with it. When he catches him, he's going to tell him the jig is up. Well, we've got current so that some of the sticks are going down past the lines, and that one got hung on my lines. It may be the only time that rod moves this evening. Yeah, you're going to kick yourself for that one for a while. That could have been a monster. That's embarrassing. It is embarrassing. That makes the second rookie move that you've had. What second rookie? I don't know. The fact that you've never fished before, I guess. Doing pretty good for I know it. It's odd that you have a boat. We take you to the absolute best spot on the lake. Graciously show it. <laughs> Gave me bait today, too, Ethan. You yeah. brought your bait, too. Yeah, we actually. They even patted you on the head when you caught one. I know. He didn't. Oh, when he caught one? Yeah, yeah you did I catch one. one. Yeah, we told him he was I a good one. I caught one in your face, third cast. I was like, bang. And I was Man, like, when, this. these idiots are throwing flies. I'm when you go left go. and got away from the water, I, I caught some. Fish. Yeah. Lord have mercy. Mid South said, "Hey, Iron Dizzle, welcome in." Mid South said the first rookie move was letting Sandy in the boat. He is honored to let me on the boat. Isn't it wild though how you can sometimes throw every color grub and fly and all that, and then all of a sudden you put on a foley spin and just sometimes it'll light them up. Mm -hmm. Well, foley didn't get them today. It was on, especially on this lake. On this lake, I throw foley more than I throw grubs. So it's always stained in that charge. I like the charger is full of stuff. There's a dag blasted dog barking now. Well, let the dog out there on the goose off. Yeah, the goose did quit. There was a spot I hadn't Well, without there. even trying to calculate or anything, I catch more on a fly than I do anything else. Probably. 10 to 1 or more. Maybe 100 to 1. I believe. Mid South said, Yeah, but he didn't expect you to bring Travis. <laughs> There's only certain times when I throw a foley. Yeah, I throw I throw flies, but I, I always have a foley with me, and I throw it something. You don't know how many times I've thrown flies, so I blew in the head and put on a foley, and we'll catch it. Just blew in the head. Yeah, it's a new. I was going to say that's a new. Uh, that's a new normal thing for you. <laughs> blew in the face. Hey, we was in that bougie restaurant earlier, and there's this guy <laughs> walked in there with a new pair of tennis shoes on with both of them untied. Well, what, what was the deal with that? Is that a bougie thing? Some people do that. What? The untied shoes. Oh, yeah. Like I, I, I wanted to grab his shoe strings and take my knife and cut them off. Yeah, there was a guy in the Chick-fil-A that did not have his either one of his shoes tied, and it it drove Travis nuts. He hated it. And they don't even have, they got shoe strings on them, but they don't have ends on them. Not a mouse said you were using the auto-release function while he holds out for the world record. <laughs> the auto record. That scale. He was using the oh, auto release function while you hold out for the world record. That's right. And he spelled it W H I R L R E K K U R D. That's correct. Record. That's correct. That's correct. <laughs> That's Tennessee. You must be from Tennessee too. Not a mouse. You know, every time I hit the water, I'm after a hundred pounder. Hundred. Hundred. With a T. With a T. All right then. Hundred. Or a hundred. A hundo. Under. Everybody used to ask me why I always said oh. that. And I said, because they're out here. Sooner or later, I'm going to catch one. Triple digits. You don't ask for it, you don't catch it. I want triple Ds. I want another one. I want one that's 20 pounds bigger. I, I'll be happy with that. You know, there, there is a saying short. about wanting in one hand and doing something else in another. Well, I would do that, but I know which one would fill up the first. <laughs> <laughs> However, I do know that 
There's opportunities <laughs> out here for us to get another hundred pounder. They're caught every year. We just what was it last? Us. So last year at Poland, what happened? What wasn't there? A, so there's a seventy-eight weight in or 70? seventy-one and a sixty-one in the same tournament. Or that, 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 that was the only tournament. That was, was, a, was another it? tournament. Mm -hmm. One there where a seventy was weighed was in or a sixty. Mm -hmm. okay. Daryl and AJ. Were there some fifties weighed in? It was very dismal last hey, year. Hey, yes, sir. What's up? And two point three three is yeah, triple I digits. More numbers of fish last year than I did. Technically, I mean, South, but we want them without the without the decimal point in there. Two point three three is a triple digit, but we want it one three three digit. I mean, uh, yeah. I haven't seen one this year. That is uh, Ricky Dean, the fishing machine. Mid South, I I doubt that I go to the gathering. I don't know. We have not discussed yeah, it I yet. We'll finish the year up with a gathering, month. like the ITP gathering. The uh, Are you and in Insane Clown Posse. Insane Clown Posse, no. No, we are. Actually, there is one insane clown posse song I like. But anyway. Oh my God. I'm sorry. Whatever. I'm an 80s kid. They aren't from the 80s. I don't care. I'm still an 80s kid. And I, I like that insane clown posse song. I listened to 90s music mostly back then. But yeah. A lot of 80s kids listen to insane clown posse. Y'all just said global gathering? Ned South said, if you go, can I snuggle with you? Are you talking to Travis or me? He's talking to Randy. Travis is over here. He's, he's putting out a slit. He is. He's going to get this fish going in. He's rinsing his mouth out. In there. What's in there, Deb? He, it was. You start dipping? Yeah. Dude. He's not smoking. That's the black heart. No, that's good. I'm not knocking it, dude. I dipped from age 13 to 22. Yeah, you I, need to go ahead and get I a drum. I, I literally started dipping in eighth grade in wrestling. Out. I started dipping at age 13. <laughs> the global gathering in Ibiza. No, this is just one in Chattanooga, y'all. You know what? So I don't crave dip. Other than the only times I used to really crave it was like if I'd be on a road trip and I'd walk into a gas station in the afternoon and they'd have all those advertisements right there and the sun's going down like so. <laughs> <sighs> Something about the sundown made him want to want to dip. You want some of Travis's dip? You can't have none. <laughs> Who are you wanting to snuggle with Mid South out with it? Jacob don't he done fish uh, uh, missed the two fish in the whole lake. I didn't fish yeah, it out. Uh oh! I don't fish. I don't fish. I see out. that. I don't fished it out. I think both of them were little fish. That was a massive slap. Yeah, well, I was gonna hit the water. Slapped it. <laughs> well, this is exciting. I'm sure went to the bar. Yep. Found try, fat girls. I tried to tell you. The bar, find fat girls. That's right. Go to the bar and play with the fat girls over there. I'm against Fort Loudon. Today's beautiful. We should have went below the dam. They spill it. We could have bumped. Where? Below the dam. Below the mountain dam? Yeah. Why not? Below Chickamauga. Everybody says it's too early. You know, a couple of years ago, I was over there when it was too early catching fish. They're at the dam. They stay at the dam. Well, I mean, I'm I, I'm a good liar. <laughs> You're a fisherman, aren't you? We could have went down there and got that 50-pound flathead that Ricky caught down there. Yeah. Hmm. We got it. We got you it. The spot too, uh, that I passed by up. Uh, you ever fish off that right across? Where's that? 
Straight across the river. Look. Caught a 50 pounder over. Yeah, I fished over there. Did you really? Didn't even know it was on. Did you really? Oh, it's on. I had, I had fish are out of the deep holes. In the middle the of the channel summer. that comes right out of there. At the shallow and edges. It across and it intersects right over mm -hmm. here. Lisa said their fish were out of the deep holes at the shallow and edges you hit the main on the slopes. Channel, the yeah. secondary channel and the one that cuts across that flat. The, uh, if it does not work, I said we go sit back for 30, 45 minutes. Where? That day, uh, I was on the uh, pontoon boat and <laughs> I downlined all my lines and uh, I floated right at the center of this lake. Middle of summer. Both matter and crap. I didn't care. I was like, no, I don't care. Oh, well. Second rod. But, uh. Yep. The black one. Getting tapped. But, uh, got up through there and Jeremy, uh, <laughs> well, he is coming back from somewhere. He, they was on their honeymoon and he was on his way back and I'd called him. And I was sitting there talking to him, and I told him, I said, uh, I'm going to have to get this rod before it breaks off. I thought it was hung. And I went over and started wheeling on that rod, because about all the line was off of it. And uh, picked that rod up and felt it. Yeah. 50 pounds. The thing we can do is go post up right there on the, there's a sharp cliff break right there. Real sharp break. Jay Owen. Michael were putting in at the North City Park. And I was up there talking to him. And I said, yeah, watch me get spooled while I'm up here. Mm -hmm. And when I got back down there, I had my one rod was almost to the spool. I could see the metal. I locked it in. It was about a 30-pounder. Ray Ferguson is in first, didn't he? I believe he's in first. Where did they do that? Hey, fishing frustrations. Where was Ray fishing at? Anybody know? Who? Ray. Ray Ferguson today. Today, I don't know. But he's fishing a tournament. Yeah. He's fishing a YouTube tournament. King, uh, King of the Tennessee River tournament. Yeah. He's in first place right now. Good. Ray's been on fire. He says, I'm going to win that, and I'm going to come back, and I'm going to win the king cat. He ain't going to win the king cat. Uh-uh. He figured to be cheating there. On Fort Lousy. Nope, it's Ray. Why? Even if it is, he's, we all he's got a guy. chance. No, that's right. On this lake, I, I don't know. Ray, Ray like, it's just, I, I said, they said he was Ray Ferguson. I said, he's just a guy. A he's a fisherman. A small hey, this lake that's... That it's a lake that I know is local. as good as anybody. Right fish is all the yeah, big ones. I know it as good as anybody. Yeah, he had a ninety. He had so ninety-five pounds on his top three fish. Oh, is that how y'all are doing his top I three? Like I know You're feeling right now. I don't know it great. But I know it all right. To where I have confidence. Can I say that? I'd love to. I, I've never fished Chad or Gunnersville or any of that shit. I'd love to go explore down to the I told you I'd like. I might take Micah and just spend a weekend down in like Gunnersville or you take him down to okay. Raccoon Mount. Is no, I don't think he's a YouTuber. Is, so I'm not sure. So it goes Chickamauga, then it's Nick Jack, then it's Gunnersville. Does he have a YouTube then channel? Weaver, right? right? Yeah. If he does, yeah, he, he don't do much with it. But... Come on at live much or That's what won the the Winter Blues. Just, uh, My only thought was like everyone goes to Wheeler. I'm like, I'd love to go to like Gunnersville, which is like a popular bass lake. But... Everybody thinks these guys in Gunnersville are on Wheeler. Yeah. That's the funny thing. Is the uh, Lonnie and Donnie and Mike Mitchell and Jackson won the tournament in the winter blues on Gunnersville. Big Wheeler Lisa said, I'd love to go to Gunnersville to crappie fish. Or you can just go down to Chickamauga. Big Monk. Chickamauga is a great lake all around. We put that eight year old last year on that 
I know none of us really like bass fishing, but even for bass fishing, Chickamauga is one of them. Like, people like Chickamauga is one of the top 10, 15 lakes in the country. You have a friend that used to be God? Chick's got a lot of good catfish. Yeah, yeah, good luck. I know it was a year Saturday back too? everywhere all over the country when Brave is not Chickamauga bass fishing. <laughs> And it's got, you know what? It's got a good striper in it, too. I, I didn't know that. It's got big. big it's got a good ecosystem. Mm. That's the key. Ten years ago, this place was the shit. I take this like over. There's a flathead off of my book. This is, you know what's funny? Every flathead I catch on this spot. It comes from over there, yeah. yeah. Like, yeah, I've caught a lot of flatheads. Every flathead I catch off this spot is back off of the ship. I do think a spot I like to always give it at least two hours. We've been out here how long? Fifty minutes? An hour? Probably four or five hours now. Yeah, about ten hours, I think. <laughs> Forty-five minutes, probably. About forty minutes, according to this. Oh my missing. God! Did you see that? There's a fish on this. Thing. Fish on that. Get him! Get him! Get him! Get him! Get him! Get him! He's swimming. Drag it, drag it, drag I'll get him, Cindy. I'll get him. Is he on? Yeah, he's on. I don't know. No, he may have not be. He had it. He was swimming with it. First me. He's coming. <laughs> if I'd have been on the rod, I would have got him for yeah. sure. Yeah, it had them... Uh, he hit the head right off that bait. I'd have nailed it. I would have got him. That's right. Like, I know this. I wouldn't have missed him. No, I know you wouldn't. <laughs> I know this. I wouldn't have missed that fish. Yeah, you missed two so far. Huh? Like I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, you know, that's missed up. Missed up? <laughs> yeah. That's if missed I was, up. If I was on a rod, that fish would be in the boat. And. It'd have been a fifty pounder. Mm. I know I wouldn't have missed that fish. Listen. <laughs> Did you see that bite? Oh my god. Y'all made me jump again by telling me to get it. Worn him out. He was swimming with it. He just didn't have it. Uh, He's dealing with some dangers. Just a stickerel. A stickerel. I did. Almost. <laughs> but it caught some accounts and we're using hand grenades. Randy may fish with Captain Dave. That's cool. Who's Captain Dave? Dave. Who's that? Captain Morgan. Oh. His first name's David. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Where we work? Is he gonna fish the king cat? He's catching bait. Is he gonna fish a king cat? I know y'all heard him say that, but Travis, yeah. If it don't worst comes to worst, let's fish in my rig. I'll put my other light. I got a live well that can hold two overs and one under. <laughs> Ain't it? Hey, J and J, welcome in. You keep changing. Water. Yeah, he is. Yeah, man. We can just, we'll just, you just got to put, every, I I got up there in, under the seat. I have a um, pump with a tube. So you can pump water out and pump water in. I can pump. I got an oxygen thing. I got a spare 12 volt to bring if we want. Ricky knows I can get inventive in small boats. I'll still yeah, never. I'll really still good. never forget us all. I don't that I one. so wish we would have won that first one. And my tiny <laughs> ass. I had a boat that was. My boat was. I measured it. That little boat. boat. That his boat. green one. His old green one. <laughs> you fished? Did you ever fish in it? No, I wasn't getting in that thing. 
That <laughs> thing was 13 foot long. We fished in the ocean with it. What are you talking we about? Fish, I fished that thing up and down mountain. I fished that thing up and down here. I've had tons of 40 pound striper. I've had fished it at the dam. 50, 60 pound cat. Yeah, fished it at the dam. I never forget it, being up there with the stick steering. I've had I've had people hooked up with striper as we're rolling. Through I remember you talking about about sinking that thing in the storm too. Yeah, that was. If you and I had gone to Calendar that way, we would have sunk it. Because <laughs> that was the night that Morgan and and uh, Chad Daddy and two other boats sank. Yeah. And and everyone was like, you know, everyone when they heard boat. When everyone heard boat sink, they were like, it was for sure Ricky and Jacob in that tiny thing. And here we come, brrr, riding waves in. It was like a surfboard with a 9-9 on the back of it. <laughs> <laughs> they look at my like boat and they say, be careful, be careful, be careful. And I'd be sitting there riding on top of stuff that's slamming them. Yeah, I, I just would ride the wave break all the way in. But yeah, that night, everyone was like, oh, there's some big fish. You better have a big one. Then we had that. And we Put down a 62 and a half pounder, and we we're like, Hell yeah! And then Spencer weighed in with a 63 and a half. Fuck, <laughs> this is kids fish, man. You know, why we were gonna come out last night early. late and fish. You met that woman, and we that's stupid, Spencer. <laughs> like I said, I saw him last year. That's what happens. The women they try to get on your fishing. I don't know. I don't it's know the e it's the evil in them. Uh, Sunshine really? told her dad the other day. It's like, so back when in I was the day, off the day it started. So she one said, day God was well, like, I can't try to put my thumb on him and, did it. and, and stop evil. him because he's because a wild evil. spirit. There's evil. And she says, and so and am I. I was going to do that. Your today. wife will mess you up. I'm like, that's right. I'm going to go. I'm going to go. Ain't nobody going to tell me I can't. That's it. That's what I did was try to stop the fish. God can. But ain't nobody else. <clears throat> I'm gonna put on my jacket because it's getting chilly with it. Well, if you was catching enough fish, you wouldn't feel the cold, would you? I like them little ones. I shook, I shook them little ones off. I was shaking them off. You gonna fish this next Saturday, ain't you? What? You gonna fish this spot next Saturday? No, it's trailer tournament on Watts Bar. Oh. Hell no! You, I, I told you. you. No, I told you. I said, you know why we're not yeah, fishing Watts Watts Bar I, fish well. <laughs> I said, you know why we're not fishing Watts Bar this weekend? I said, because I know I'm not gonna be able to resist temptation, and I'm gonna go down to the area I want to fish. You should. <laughs> it ain't you, you need to. You need to pre-fish over there. No, you don't. I swear to God, our lakes. Listen. A week, two weeks, two weeks. I can tell you right now, Danny Ball put out Within 14 days four is today. enough to blow up a spot. No, Caney Creek. They'll be all the way from, from Monday, all the way, or all the way from this weekend, all the way to next Saturday. There, there's boats all over there pre-fishing and looking for you're going to have Lonnie and Donnie Fountain down there. You're going to have the Mitchells oh, down I there. I hope no one goes to my little area. <laughs> oh, believe me. They'll go by your areas looking, if not fishing. The chances are, though, they're all going to be dragging yeah. on the ledges and the edges. I don't drive. I don't. I don't drive much on Watts Bar. I should, but springtime normally you got a, a good enough bite. You what? Anchored that you don't anchor. Have to I swear, mm -hmm. the areas is waiting out. There. It's one. It's oh, one man. you don't have current. Wait, you want? It is a nice sunset. What one? Oh. I hate to say it like that because you know when you got pictures of. Sunset, you ain't catching fish. Yeah, don't take photo though. Yeah, that's that's worse than a banana. It is worse than a banana. Sunset is the kiss of death. Really? Sunset photo? <laughs> I eat a banana. I can't eat the sunset. I think I finally heard the crack of dawn though the other day. Because <laughs> just before I saw the sun, 
That light or thunder was going boom. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's just as scared of my baby. Hey, you want a trash can? That's I put a big old chunk of head on it. I'm just scared of it. We do. Put that piece of head on that other one. Well, I get the first three. Two of my, two of mine have giant ass face on them. So. But I know sometimes also at this spot you get nothing and that as soon as that sun goes down, boom. Yeah. I've always said it through sunset, don't know. Oh he's a guy. I got a stick on. Hmm. There it goes. I think it's coming off. Then. What? Yeah. I'm going to see. You got Jake K Kimmel coming through selling skipjacks for two dollars a piece. <laughs> hey, Rebel River Cats, welcome in. How are you All today? Right. Rain a ton of rain in the forecast this week. I told Kevin I might just go up Thursday, Friday, where we were today. Papa son. I wouldn't mind also getting some goodies. Listen to birds. Yeah. Ty, you've been working on your boat all day. Is that one on there? What do you still have uh, to do on it? Oh, great. Oh, great. Dale's been hiding from the rain all day. He said, so you've been, you've been a couch tater today?
I don't hear it on camera if it goes poorly. Almost, but we got it out there. You've been working wiring today, almost done. So are you like totally redoing this boat? Yeah, I'm redoing it. I'm redesigning. As y'all can see, we're putting some skip jack. Well, Are you? Yeah. Redecorating is what you're doing to yours. Growing over here. <laughs> yeah, I heard glyphics up here. Algae carpet. I got a sticker eco, eco that primitive. came free with some hooks that I put here that are half sticking off. I'm pro sponsor. Please. Okay. You know what, though? I, did say, I will say from this. Oh, for up here in, in these waters, I ain't getting anything but an aluminum boat ever, ever again. <laughs> I'm all aluminum all the way. Winter, you got pulled up on some rocks, rocks, screw it, you know? Yep. Hey, Otter Cat. Hit a, hit a stick. What's going on? Get punched in the metal. Nope, we're good. Blood on the deck? Who gives a crap? I love how people are like, do you clean it off? I'm like, I'll let the next rain clean it off. Rain's cleaning pretty good. <laughs> That's let cool. Let the rain piss on it and drain and it. And just out. exactly like and you want it to be. You never have shit rotten in it. The only time is not good is dead of summer if you do want to come out with your family. I found that out. That's why mm -hmm. I, bring, I bring yoga mats and put them down. Them little cheap Walmart yoga mats I throw out. And then you got to make sure and hop in the lake to get water in the boat. I did find out last time I was in the lake, if my tubby butt falls over, I'm in trouble getting back into this boat. <laughs> you better put you a little jack. Uh, uh, After you finish uh, your wiring, you'll pull all, put all the floorboards back in with the uh, new carpet and swap the rod wreck over to this boat. That's cool. Now, one thing I can do is I can... Go up to that front, tie the rope. I can the rope that's on the cleat. I can pull it over and tie something. I can step up and get my fat gut wiggled over. <laughs> I got to make sure and take off my life jacket though. Why can you step up on the motor? It's not big enough. The thing is not big enough for my foot to really grip and push me off. Get one of the little two or three rung ladders. Yeah. You're done. Out of cat, you would be correct. Get you one of them uh, yeah. rope yeah, ones that's called a Jacob's ladder. And then, not if we haven't buttered a fish yet, you know? Oh, it does talk. Look at this. Think of the century. Cindy. Cindy, <laughs> you want to reel this one in? You reel this one in, please. This has got you written all over it. It's a giant. I don't think you can get bait in well. Hey, Chris and Kelly, what's up? What's going on tonight? Have y'all been out and going today? Matt South said, go overboard in jeans once and never go out in jeans again. <laughs> Did you actually catch him? Oh, I got him. I got him. Oh, my gosh. He's so big. Oh, my gosh. He's got that that, uh, that rod above oh his. Oh, my God. He's, so yeah, he's loading the up the rod. Oh, my God. <laughs> he's got that rod above nipple level. I he loaded it up. He's screaming. Ah. 
Oh wait, I got him. Oh, he's he's. All right, there we go. I catch and release. That was oh, it's a work weekend. Sixty-two. I'm going to sixty-two. If I'm lying, I'm crying. You're gonna jump in the lake if he's not fifteen pounds. Dude, that was at least that was sixty-two all day. Boat side release. <laughs> yeah, what a giant. Again. Yeah, we That's let him cool. go boat side. People let him go, let him grow. That's all I got to say. You're o o for three. Andy? I'm just over one. I don't want to hear it. I'd have nailed that fish you had. I'd oh, have, that no. fish would be in the boat if I'd have been on that. Twice. Run. What's the matter? Nothing. You got poop. <laughs> is that yeah. what it is? We're going to have to hit the fill. <laughs> Do you really? Is that really the problem? Yeah. Cameraman sucks. That that would be me. Yeah, it was a sixty-two pounder. People, we missed it on camera. I Is they gonna it. be? I whooped it. I unhooked it. It just. It's what y'all are gonna be a chicken muggle next it's weekend. What I do. Was you that on that jack I caught today? Yeah, that was that good one. Oh really? Mm -hmm. Y'all, are y'all gonna come down for the gathering when it, when they have good it? Good skip, Jack. You would have caught the fish. I did. I let him go both sides, remember? Oh, we'll take her over and let her do a baby. She got to go? Yeah. All right. Well, we're catching 62s, but we're going to reel up. Uh, I hate it. Move in. I think. Oh, no, I was just getting ready to get bit. All these have been little critters. All these things that bites that you haven't been getting and stuff. Are we heading back to the boat ramp? Or you the love bank? the chick. Yeah, I'd like to be a. You're going to oh, be at the beginning. Hey, I actually have um, eat the pee in that yellow bag. What? You want to head back to the boat ramp? You want to go back over there or what? I guess. Where? I don't know where else I'd go. I was going to toss the other side of the boat. No. <laughs> Are we rebating or? Mid South said, yeah, I'd love to go to the chick. What are we doing? I'd say not yet. If I'd go to the gathering if I can snuggle Cindy. Here. I hear you. Mid South, you know. Maybe I'd one of those nights where at the end we say, go back. I don't think you would. <laughs> we'll sit down. But this spot, what's nice is I've had this just like this, and then you come back here at 10 o'clock, you catch a dandy. That's true. Well, this, this spot turns on at any given time. Yeah. Are you fishing any kind of tournament, or are you just coming down to the Chickamauga? It's coming weekend. You still know when that can be. Same as the whole lake, but. All right. You pulling that one up? You get your damn. Well, we're going to find out. All right, dude. Deal, Mitchell. Uh, not all of them, but you can start pulling us up. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Mid south. What if I say I'll call you bluff? Because I ain't far from down there. Not that far. We're going next, old man. I don't drive if my original plan was to go down where you need to stay. Yeah, that's not a bad spot. That corner? Yeah, but there's a. Uh, uh, You're in the tournament yeah. the next Saturday? That's cool. There's a bunch of fish still in the back. What do you mean the back? Back at Turkey Creek. I don't ever fish back in Turkey Creek so much. 
There was action, but it was all mostly little fish when I was at, um... You got that one that was... It was okay. It was okay for a flathead. Yeah, well, but but the, no, it's not. So like I said, in the back of that creek, there is 10 billion of them size flathead. The back of Sinking Creek. Yeah. I ain't never caught. I ain't never caught a flathead over 20 pounds in that creek. But uh, I can. We we caught Lord one point. Them little small to medium ones like that. I caught about two points in the circle tree. So, hey, Dobson, what's up, Willie? Really? Back where I can see the glass. Right, Friday, leaving Wednesday. Hold on. Be careful if I dip, Sandy, but thank you. Someone see the job, tell me. We had to slow down. We got a bunch of noodles out here floating around. I was telling them we had to slow down. There was some tree out here somewhere. It went on over. It was over near the boat ramp. It went on fast. Like 
don't know nothing about feet. <laughs> We had to run back to the ramp. Huh? It's over yonder, I think. I don't see nothing. I swear I saw one that was just out in front of the boat ramp. It went on down. It went on down. Is that there right here? Yeah. Background looks pretty wild. It does. Hey, Lance McCoo guy. We're doing, Lance. We got to make a pit stop back over at the ramp. We'll go back out. All right. Catch it, Cindy. See that blue rope right beside you and wrap it on that first plate. Easy peasy. Go ahead, man. We'll do a free piece right there. I'm strong. Bad one. Yeah, I got it. Oh, she does that. I'm going to get one. Yeah. yeah, you can go you need the code. I don't know why you didn't bring one. I'll make this boat real life. Yeah. We're doing Mike, young. Yeah. There you go. You got it? I got you. Yeah. Oh. Grab my hat over here so what don't get wet. Next? Huh. You know, I just thought about what? Let's get it close. Hey, the bridge, the the first one. Where the far, oh yeah, you had that. That's true. Right over blue tank off and the, we that flathead. Head. Think about it right now. As much as that current's pumping, I think it's a good idea. We might get a big one over right now. You that's never know. I, I'm not saying that's the call, but I'm just saying throwing it up as a. If I was out here by myself, I'd go check it out. We got some bites out while we was out there. We got current running, so we'll get back out there in a few. We had to get a coat, and Cindy had to run up there, so. Ain't been out here too long. I think we fished about an hour so far. Yeah. We'll probably stay out a couple of hours anyway. What time is get it? Get on something. What time is it? It's, uh, it's just 8.22. 8.22. Oh, yeah. I fish till midnight tonight. I fish late. I fish late. That's late for me. We got Jacob over here. What's up with it? Oh, no! We've come apart from shore. Oh, what yeah, ever we... shall we do? Thought you had us tied up. Apparently, I didn't have us <laughs> tied up. We're just floating away. I floated away from the shore. Get that rope. You got it? Yeah, I got it. You gonna paddle us back over? Yeah, easy old paddle, battle. Paddle, boy, paddle. That's funny. I bent down to pick it up, and I was like, oh, I'm gonna grab something. You've been over to pick what up? Paddle, paddle. Oh. 
I'm waking it back to the dark. All right. I guess that's one way to get back. There you go. Put that there. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what you gave me the paddle for. All right, let's try it again. This, 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 you <laughs> might need it. No, I think the during um, this cleat, you know how it's so loose? I think it just came well, bro Somebody broke one end of it off. Huh? Yeah, I know. It just came that off. had to be a big boat to break that cleat off. Yeah, I hope you see anything. Everything. Hey, give me that trash bag. Give me that trash. Mm. There you go. What we're looking like. We owned a little boat. Well, it's actually not real little, but. Everybody left me on the boat. We'll be back out there fishing here in a few minutes when I get back. We're done, Donna. Yeah, I got dark quick, didn't it? <laughs> Actually, this thing, uh, this thing is light as a feather. It sits right on top of the water. If all you had in, with a paddle on this thing, it's uh, it would you could paddle about anywhere, really. It's pretty wobbly though. It wasn't long after he first got this boat. Me and him, me and him took the first one and took it out. And uh, <laughs> the first two fish on this boat was a 60 and a 63. But uh, the first thing he noticed was, this is right here, it's a wobble. He, had, he wished right off the bat he got one a little bit wider. But good little boat though. I guess Michael's out on bar. Yeah, that's my bracket too. I put a big bait tank in here. This thing can be a striker catch boat too. Yep. Everybody see? I love it, but I'm I am now that I have more kids now. I'm thinking. Yeah, he'll he'll get a bigger one next year. I know. Well, I know he'll get something uh -huh. bigger. Yeah, I'd like to upsize. He's gonna get a bougie boat. No, I ain't getting a bougie boat. I want. I told you, I like these aluminum boats. I don't. I, I don't want anything but a rough aluminum boat. But I want a bigger one. And I'm still kicking myself for when I bought this, not going one size. That was back when I could get a whole other foot in length, another almost foot in width, and another ten horsepower on the motor, and it was less than two thousand dollar upgrade. And I don't know why I didn't do it. Billy is on loud and too. Billy, who? Who? What is it? Oh, let's bring that on board. That's welcome. Who got? Where'd you get that? Got connections, man. Do you have Mark? No, what Mark? Well, Mark don't like me. Not really. No, Mark don't like me at all. <laughs> I called his ass out. Ricky, Ricky Bean, the fishing machine. Well, 
I think I'm competition to him or some kind of stupid shit like that. Who the fuck knows, you know? You know what? All I know is I don't like Travis Dyer. I don't like you. I don't like you either. That's all I know. That's all I know. He sucks. He's, he's, he's fucking no bullshit, man. I ain't kidding you. No bullshit. Well, you you're going to straighten up. We're going to go over here and catch fish. This, this no catching fish. Is, I'm going to have to bring my boat out just to catch fish, it looks like. <laughs> We're going to turn on the lights. I only got one. I told pull my other strip light off. Why don't you right? fix it? You still ain't fixed well, it? Well, I just ordered the new, the new one came in literally today. And I literally just the day got away from me and I didn't do it. I'm going to put it on tomorrow. There she is. There she is. <laughs> She's got a shoe untied, boot untied. You can't get on with that troll motor right there like that. Pull the boat sideways. This one, this one, sold, this, this one soldered and it still is gone. <laughs> you and Billy go again? No. Oh, no. Danny Ball? Yeah. You're holding it. I think I'm better with Travis. Yeah. Get that side of it too. Come on, both. Oh, yeah. If I was going to push off the school, I'd push Let's get her back on the boat here. Huh? For this lake, it's pushing. That's as pushing as you get on this lake. I get okay. there's other situations where it's a little hard. I'm just saying that this is set up on the flat way more than ever. Don, are you downsized last year? Really liking yeah, it in the no, river? Autocat says, Who are you people? What have you done with Cindy? I thought you were. He's, he's, he's not understand. Do you want me to explain it to you? Be held till in a little bit. Oh, water. somebody needs to explain something. They need to explain why I don't have a good head on one or other. Okay, hand me my uh, hand me that Gore-Tex wow. jacket. If you don't care. I hope I'm okay now. <laughs> yeah. uh, ninety feet. Oh. Oh. Now. Kick play. That breading. Eight foot. Lot. So I'm trying to think how far can I reach off this dock with my things. I can reach out here for sure. What thing? With my rods. Oh. Oh yeah. I sat on. What's the, up, Don? In my boat at the dock, throwing lines out here catching fish. That's what I told him. I did that in the dead Mike Young said, "Wow, well, I can't see anything. I like I it better in my boat." <laughs> well, uh, threw it. Right before they dropped the boat. Honestly, it's a little easier doing lives on the boat. Not a little bit. Yeah. Way then easier, I caught right? like a 15 yeah. and another 12. Yeah. I was like, well, shit. After he's, he's done for the night, we may do some bank fishing. That is hammering them. That's like two rods with 30 minutes. Bet it paddles like a barge. When we get back out here, then we should be able to uh, put some light on some of the rods. We don't come out on the boat real often. Most of the time it's from the bank. It's a dry boat, so that's good. No splash over. We'll be back after a while. Okay. At a while. Where are we headed? Okay. Oh, 
the lights. Hey, Anthony. What's up, Tony? Conditions are partly cloudy with a temperature of 81. The winds are blowing from the south of five miles an hour. And the current humidity is 87%. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Weather Cindy's house. The water temperatures are back almost up to 60. Yeah, there's a ton of bait fish in there. Look at that. Wow. Did you see that, Travis? No, we're clear. Well, what you got going on back there? What one? Huh? We ain't got the front one on here. The front one's in that bag. Yeah. If you can't get the light on, we may end up on the bank after all. <laughs> And I got a front light. Oh, he got it on. Okay. He got it. Oh, Travis got, got it. it. Yeah. So, what time do you head back tomorrow? One strip light on. Man, that strip light's been been down for like all year. Mm -hmm. His other side, the boat side light, has been off for like all year. I mean, been out. Put a red strip on the out. It's been down? Yeah. I'll put a red strip on that side. Should you? Are you going to put a blue one? <laughs> there you go. What's that? Fish it. You want to fish it? Never catch it. When's the last time you fished through here? Whatever it is, it's fish. What they are. Did this barbecue smoked 25 Dungeness crabs so good, man. That sounds good. No idea. Is that catfish? You don't know? Don't mm -hmm. catch them when you don't throw. Don't do it? Don't do it. Someone say, give an opinion. I'm. So, you want to try it? If you get back on them like they were, it's coming. It's coming off. Look there. Yeah. Look, look at Navy Onyx. Look where we are. We're just at the edge of the break. We were back up on the flat. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Look. That's a feat. I don't know what they are, but it's a feat. That's a big fish there. Welcome back, Lisa. You drop it? Yeah. Only fish like three hours. They were in the shallow. So just for reference, all the reference, way around. The ones that we passed over were bang, 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 and all the way around. So go ahead and put it out.
Go get some lights out here in a minute. We're about to anchor up some fish right here. So you're going to fish for like a week straight when you get home, Tony? Tied up there. Bounce. Now we've had... Uh, we're tight. Tight. We've had... Three quick releases from uh, Jacob and one quick release from me. Question is, do I need to put a back anchor out at this spot? Probably. All right. Ricky, watch it. No, no, just drop it down. Huh? Just drop it down. We're going to put our back anchor. You're going to fish till fall straight? <laughs> Yeah. Put it out, bro. Down. The bite's starting to improve. The water temperature here is almost 60. It is 60, sort of, in the shallower water. It's like 58 out in the channel. So flatheads and everything should start getting better. I'm ready to get on some. Okay. I think it's going out in the water. Yeah. Let there be light. Pretty good. Pretty good. Under the boat. Right, Woohoo! I wonder how he's doing on them, Tony. Sorry, I about three ends in the lake. Sure did. It was close. Hitch by hitch. Woohoo! This uh, tripod isn't wanting to stand up real good in this boat. It keeps wanting to fall over. And it fell over, and the camera fell off of it, and it just about went in the water. What's up, Hitch? I think I just got hung on your back. Oh, that's you? my job. What's up, Jefferson Einstein? How's it going? I 
I brought extra battery. I think I put them in the bag. Yeah. Oh no, no. I'm yep. so, am I above? Here, go down. Okay. Woohoo. Hey Dale Hayslip. Just getting ready for work. Thank you, Dale. It makes my day when Dale Hayslip comes in and says that. <laughs> We're his favorite YouTube couple. Uh, Lisa said, Jake came in and the screen went out. He was just too much energy for the room. Bam. There it went. Ooh, Cindy, guess what's under you? Mm. I need under your seat something. But of, of course. But of course. Get me out. You should have went and had some of them chicken strips I had. I got some onions. I think I got like a snack bag. Big ones over there. What? I ought to just throw the whole dang bag at you because I'm going to eventually end up paying you everything. Okay. You got the snack pack and the thing. Yep. Yeah. I'm on it today. And I need a beverage. Where's your beverages at? Oh, I need one right here. Now we're going for actual coconut water. Coconut water. Okay. Coconut water. With some onions. Yes. Love it. Red, we are finally sitting in one spot. Listen, we were out there sitting earlier, but my Chick-fil-A turned ugly on me, so uh, we had to hit the boat dock. <laughs> this is a bad scene. What's up, Red? Red, Red, Red. The fact that I'm awake has me pissed off, and the fact that I'm at work pisses me off even more. But hello, everyone. Nightbot slap Uncle Rudd's catfishing with a pineapple. There you go. <laughs> I like the way you specified. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> you think they're striper? Why do you see one? Oh. Now, Bod said Anthony J. all day slapped Rudd times two with a stinky skipjack. <laughs> I got you, Dale. <laughs> nice. <laughs> he got him on each cheek. Choom, choom. One of them Western movie slaps. Oh. <laughs> they got you, Red. <laughs> How long you got to do that, Red? Work seconds. If you hired me and paid me like seventeen fifty an hour, I'd work your seconds. You can pay me out of your pocket. I don't care. <laughs> Tony said, we love you, Dale. <laughs> <laughs> then he said, we love you too, Red. Red. We just love everybody up in here. <laughs> No current right here, really, you know? Nope. Well, that sucks. That's probably why the fish were stacked up. 
whatever kind they were. Where were we headed? The mouth of Sinking Creek? Yep. Oh, we got that flathead before. Hmm. You don't say it out loud, Cindy. You just say it over yonder. Oh, well. We're over yonder by the bend. Okay. Like everybody that we know, don't know where that is. Or anyway, maybe get flaming hot on you. Oh, you should say Dale said, what did I miss this time? Yeah, Did you say y'all have a ton of them? We we have have. A ton of flaming hot people onions. asking me where specific names of places are and stuff around here, and I'm like, you know, on the, on the water? I'm like, I don't know. I said, but I can take you to where I fish. <laughs> mm -hmm. I don't know the name of it. I could take you to where I have fish, but I'm not going to. Well, I didn't say I would. Oh, I was going to say, if they don't know the names that we know, then no. Most of the time, I don't know their names either. All kinds of no names. They don't know really yeah. good. They'll end up on the other end of the lake. Yeah. Ask, ask Travis how many times I told him I was someplace, and then he just, he got to where now, he said, well, describe it. Yes. Yeah, because you get up river and down I river backwards. No, I'll describe it, and he'll say, okay, you're not there. You're so and so. <laughs> <laughs> told him I was at Louisville Point. He says, no, you're not. I'm there. <laughs> I said, well, then where am I? <laughs> <laughs> how do you how do you not know where you are i can understand not knowing where other people are but i always know where i am i know where i was i just <laughs> i called it something. i'm here i didn't call it by the right name he actually did that that's when he laid the rod down on the dock and come back and it was gone oh yeah. the skipjack or whatever that was it the silo snagged it yeah it's a silo <laughs> Is it that, really? Was it purple <laughs> pink rod you gave me? Uh, I got a lot of work Saturday. A years ago. Yeah. I sat it on the dock because I wasn't getting Did any bites. I sat it on the dock, went up to the van to get something and walked back and it was gone. Fished on, it was hanging in the water. What does he mean you got a lot of work Saturday? I don't know. Oh, that is excuse not to go fish tournament. Captain never, Morgan. Never did. Well, he, he uh, posted to, pictures of fish and fishing out, poles and smiley done. faces. So I, I don't know. know. Where it ended up. <laughs> oh, him, somebody was going to fish tournament. Captain Morgan. So I can honestly um, it, it is. Him and he's going with the. <laughs> he's going with Randy, I reckon. I reckon. I think. I'll tell you what, them Bradford pear tree sperm are killing me. <coughs> Making my eyes all red. The world stinks like fish. I want fish down there. I don't think they like what we got. No. Nope. I don't either. Should have kept one of them white bass. No, I was told by multiple sources that old Paul Strauss, when he was catfishing, he used to set an egg timer. That thing went off, he moved. <laughs> well, it don't sound good, does it? Squeaky bear or something. <laughs> you don't want a squeaky bearing in your uh, airplane. <laughs> Jefferson said, ha ha, I've always heard it burn the eyes, Cindy. It does. <laughs> it does. Uh, Bradford Paris have the worst tree sperm of all of it, I reckon. <laughs> Morgan said, my son's secret weapon Saturday. Lisa said, Captain, that crazy neighbor of mine. What? It's a fish, you'll know it. It looks like it is. Where? On his suspended rod. The boat's moving some, but it's kind of. It's the boat. 
It blows up. Catch it. Super side. Don't let him catch your fish because he will. <laughs> it don't never matter to me who catches it. Or well, he'll jump the gun where you lose it too. Knee jerky. Who are we fishing with hitch by hitch? Is there a fish on there? No. <laughs> He reeled that six feet in the water. He, he reeled that bait up like nobody's business. So, um, your son is going with you. We are fishing with Jacob. This we we normally if we come out on the boat, we're on Jacob's boat. We're fishing with Jacob and Ricky Dean, the fishing machine. That's why that's great. I thought you were suspended, man. I didn't know you were that. What? I didn't know. That's how your bait was. I yeah. thought you were free suspended. Well, I was. I was just a couple feet off the bottom. <sighs> the world is a better place than it was 20 minutes ago. I'm feeling so much better about things. I bet. I was Lamas breathing. <laughs> so far. That yep. boat's been around there for a while. Do you think he's checking those? Uh, Are they still out there? Those jugs? Did you see one? I didn't see any on the way back. That boat over there? I definitely didn't see as many. I didn't see any coming back, but I seen one when I was coming when we were coming in. I saw one. Mm. There was one over there on the shore. Once it gets out of the current, there there's some up in the inside. Yeah. Man, I got that thing wide open. I'm not be going any faster than there, don't they? Who does Lisa be? <laughs> we are not wearing them out. Not yet. Get out here one more time. Mm -hmm. I know. I'm about to hand you all of them. Uh -huh. That's not fun. It, it's more fun for me. All right, deal me out. The whole bag. Perfect. Yes, that's exactly what I'm. I'm not dealing you out nothing. <laughs> you know, when you miss a lot of fish in a row, you yeah. get hungry. Test Blast said, uh, "Yeah, hope y'all are wearing them out now. Got a channel bleeding out now. About to hit the grease soon. Oh. <laughs> He's having fish." Cats blast can. The weather might not be as crappy this week. I might get some midweek fishing in. I don't know. You like pistachios, Rick? Pot oil bass are the best. All right. <laughs> Okay. Nobody wants your nuts. I know. I have tail is always time. So there's a new <laughs> Bailey. <laughs> Dale, is that your favorite? Lisa said. Of course. <laughs> hot oil bath. <laughs> I remember hot oil treatments. That way. Greenville, Tennessee. Give a yeah. give a catfish a hot oil treatment. And they're calling or hooked up, uh, <laughs> messaging people and offering them seven bucks a pound for big cats. Seven bucks a pound, huh? Yep, for big live catfish. I heard uh, there was somebody saying in uh, one of the live chats today that uh, 
they had one boat ramp they couldn't go in and out of Why because they were bike? kept getting offered money per week. Nope. You heard that what? That there was one, this guy was talking about there's a couple, there's a boat ramp that he can't put in and out at without him asking him if he uh, wants to sell them by, by weight like that. Really? They're doing it. Hey, where, where was it? That? I forget who it was. It's Monday Night Fish. I'm still yet to encounter a commercial. Really? I thought it was down there on the... No, one, I think... No, no, no. no. The one that I think is taking catfish. Like, I know a lot of people shad fishing. Like, the guy that you thought that one time was maybe doing it, that I told you was a shad guy. You know, Sean... Hey, what's his name? Sean McNew. Sean McNew, yeah. Uh, Striper Soup. This guy to help uh those are shad in his tank yeah he comes all over here yeah you call him shad man i think he like went i think he, he may have gone to school here too like he, he, Fruit um, Bay, he had some kind of the area although i don't negative 26 nine miles what, an hour and 71 percent humidity hitch by hitch i don't know how you handle That's it there way. it's negative 26 where hitch by hitch is uh, last oh, year, oh. year before, it was negative 26. Oh. I know it's yeah, cold, yeah, Prude Hill Bay, Alaska. And it's still catching now, what are you doing out there? What are you doing out there? If you don't mind my asking, he's freezing his ass. I know he is. <laughs> yeah, Jefferson said conditions are fair at negative 26. It's right, he said getting warmer out. Well, yeah, I think all of them are cyclic. The year before COVID was the biggest, most bait I've ever seen. There was bait everywhere. Yeah, I, remember that. I remember that that year before co the year before COVID. I don't think I fished for skipjack anywhere other than here. Um, Fort Seal, it's fifty-five so, degrees. So north at like four miles an hour with eighty-three. I remember we used to stand over here at the dock, catch bass and skipjack and white bass all together. Mm -hmm. You call me up. Hey, man, I'm tearing them I'd up bring, over here. I'd bring Micah down. I'd bring Micah down. We catch 30. I started four. catfishing after it was too late. It was all largemouth. We caught like 30 largemouth. The the hey day. Yeah. There was a time. Was it for a while again? About the month. Skip jacket. Early. I don't know how to say that. Whoa. Is that in free school? Yeah. Well, then it's probably a fish. Just a boat. I didn't free spool just to scare us. When that spool turns silver, it's a fish. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. So it's Remember the place from that show. It feels chilly at 55. No way I can handle negatives mid-March. Heck no. Screw that. Remember the place from that show. Jefferson knows they got the lock on a lot of areas, though. Long enough for shallow water, we should have at least had a bite. So whatever it was that was down under here, they don't want nothing to do with it. the bank or the boat? That's pretty bright. Probably that boat that went over there. Oil field. Alaskan oil, black what's gold. Next, what's our next move, guys? Get back out into the current. Where though? Two pups. Want to go there? Two pups. Why not? Fine. Fine. You've heard the two pups? Why? 
because it's called too many good fish here. <laughs> All right, we're going to say I got a few more pistachios. We're going to finish it. Prudho is like oil style, yeah. We're either going to the food pipes or on the other side of the roundabout. We could go back down to the thing, but I don't know if it's worth it or not. What, the fence? Yeah. We weren't doing real great there. Turn on it. How about we do poop eyes? That no good back. Hey, Sampy. What's up? That what? Dad used to work on drilling poop rigs in Anchorage. No good back to white fence. Yeah. No. I agree. A big problem happened and it scared him enough to leave. Hmm. <coughs> <clears throat> Let's go catch fish. Yeah. Oh, nothing else will catch you. Some on that flat over. I don't know about on the show, but we've had skunks on the boat. Before. We've had skunks on our boat. No, there's no question. <laughs> I don't think I can show it. Fish on the boat. On the show. Oh, I didn't fish last night, so I really don't want to skunk tonight. We can skunk. Don't worry, man. Don't worry, baby. No skunks. I'm against them. Tony said I drilled a few <laughs> broads. It was dangerous when I hit the pocket. They never want to leave. <laughs> Damn. I started reading that without reading it before I read it. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, Hitch, you know, now when I see you, just because of one person, I want to call you Bish by Bish. <laughs> There's your problem. That bait is too big for those little whisker fish. <laughs> we're we're not fishing for little whisker fish. Well, it was biting. It was definitely too big for. Us. Right. A cable snapped, dropping something while he was operating the rig, and almost killed a guy. Missed him by like two feet. Yeah, it's dangerous work. All right, we got anchors up and everything. Yep. yep. Get ready to set the sail. Let's go motorboating. Let's go motorboating. <laughs> this one? No, that one. Nope. Yeah, turn Here, I'm off turning it off. We're about to blast off. Blast off. <laughs> it was funny though. I probably would have read it anyway, Tony. I gotta go to work. It might be in later. You guys have a good night if I don't see you. All right. 
Don't work too hard and be careful. Bad week for friends. Bad week for friends on YouTube. later Jake. It's a bad week for friends on YouTube. Quiet Dale. Is Steven Seagull leaving? Hitch is. Why is it a bad week for friends on YouTube, Dale? Thank you. Yeah, oh, because of the... <laughs> Jake gets caught a bitch, and Modal gets put out put out a video of catching a fish as soon as you leave the spot. I know that was just wrong, wasn't it? Like where me and you fish cast blast. <laughs> Dang it. I wonder why we couldn't hook up on nothing whenever I was there that night. I wonder if I'm cursed. I might need to burn some sage or something. I shouldn't be. I've caught this before. <laughs> I've never offered a $20 bill to that fine, though. I might need to. I paid my dues on lots of bar. Well, dang it. We're going to have to go back for sure. Because we had every every kind of bait that night you were there. Every stuff. That big island out there. Were there fish all Time we meet up, you or Trav have those skips. I'll get them off y'all. Okay. You said you wanted like six or seven. About to turn onto the driveway. Okay. Oh, you just cut. Huh? Look at this. Look at this artery. Don't bring less than a. We're on top of that. We just ran over. Don't bring nothing but the hundreds, like cast no less. <laughs> yeah. Now we're coming off a drop. Now look. I could probably meet this week or something. Okay. We'll we'll talk about it. I'll message you on Instagram. I haven't checked it in a couple days, but. Money, babe. I don't think he needs that many. But yeah, just let me know how many you do want. Exactly six or seven. And you want them um, frozen and. I don't know if it will be on the new 
They might be inside the mouth of That's where I'm going to come right out that. We vacuum, we can vacuum seal them and freeze them. Fresh. Travis has got a fish this week. Half a dozen or so. How big are they? Pounders frozen is fine. I mean, we usually like today we caught medium large. But I'll have to ask Travis about how much they weigh because, like, the world, I think the world record, Skip Jack is like four and point something pounds. So, well, we were up in about 40 feet. He's looking at the fish finder right now. I'll have to have him check. Yeah, they're probably pound and a half, maybe two. They're probably not quite as big as that um, skipjack head you had that when we met that night. You won't live skipjack, they're $10 each. <laughs> Come on. Up there in Kentucky. They're hitting good in Kentucky. That's five hours away from us. And uh, probably that's five hours away from us at Travis's. More like seven from Cass. Those are my new anvil rods. Two of them. That we got it. Uh, hey, Grumpy, what's up? Boring at work. <coughs> Boring at work. Boring stay dry. <coughs> but uh, we got them at CatCon. It shows up real good, on, even under low light. That's what this boat side lights. As long as they ain't minnows, it'll do, Cindy. Oh, okay, yeah. No. If we catch any of the little, uh, what we call one baiters, we use them ourselves. <laughs> Sometimes we keep some of the little bitty ones, but we normally put the whole thing on a hook and use it. That way we'll, we'll have nothing. Oh, he cut one apart earlier and it had two big old thread fin in its belly. So we put that mess on a hook, like on our hook too. <laughs> Minimum on live is three hundred dollars. You can't hardly keep skipjack live. You have to have what is it, something around? It's hard to keep skipjack alive. Your wife said no more poles. <laughs> Travis got them for me.
I I, 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 I don't have all that much gear, but I have probably more in my tackle thing than I use. But I hope to change that when it gets better out and I can fish closer to home some during the week. Um, I got that. Like there's a feed going on up in the upper water column. Just I got that uh, Cabela's bag that I won from Hitch by Hitch, and it perfectly fit my little plastic tackle boxes that have my catfish stuff in. I was like, yes. AJ, don't make me come up there and claim the throne for king of the Kentucky Dam. <laughs> Get them, gas blast. I can't believe there ain't nobody out here fishing. Ain't nobody out here fishing, period. Oh, on the bridge? One of the best days I ever had was right in here from the boat. Remember, we ran into, we were in Travis's boat and ran into Jacob out here. We had a, a triple up that night. Oh, had a quadruple up that day. It was during the day. Had four rods going down at once. That was fun. That was the year going October. Everyone claims King for Skip Jackson, Kentucky Dam and Barkley Dam. I'm like, that's the easy part. <laughs> right, Tony? <laughs> They're checking the scanning right through here. See what we can get on. Tony said, please do. I'm overcast. Did, didn't even want it. <laughs> Did they quit? It's just the way that this is. It could be the way the current scene is. Pick us somewhere, I'll anchor. Wherever you want to get. That's right. That's it. We know there's some kind of fish down there. What the hell? About to go record a quick how to skin filet and cook catfish bid. Lord, too bad you don't have to remove their butts. You could, you could get it. Three million views on how to remove a catfish's butt if you did. <laughs> His vids are epic. He does real good work. My uh my shorts are just like but I'm about to hit fourteen thousand subscribers, so I'm pretty sure I hit them 13,000s and I had to get through them real quick because Travis hates number 13. So, can I borrow your finger, Cindy? <laughs> well, you know what? I'd take one for the team and deter it. I think one of the first catfish I ever caught, I accidentally detered. But it's surprisingly easy, but debutting a cat. <laughs> yeah. Can you try? Where did we launch at tonight? Uh Concord. Hi. Right. Yeah. It depends on how Travis feels. After uh, Jacob calls it, we may fish from the bank a few. I don't know. They may go throw a couple off the bridge. Yeah, we got current. We got current. <laughs> do I need, that's why I don't need a throw rear anchor. I would. Yeah. You just don't want the rear ends swishing back and forth. <laughs> <laughs> Let's 
The squirrel, huh? Right here. What is that, Randy? And we're back. What's up, Randy? <laughs> Who said smell my finger? Tony. <laughs> Randy said he was going to say go to the penis at the dam. Do is there a dam? Is there a penis at the dam? Talk about Telco Dam. Oh. Uh, I think, uh, talking about Telco Dam. What are you talking about? We don't use Telco. <laughs> Cavs don't like Telco. Cass said recently got a PB carp. Tarp eligible, but I didn't get the right pigs. Three, three foot, twenty two pounds. Dang, that's awesome. Randy said, "Getting ready for bed. It's been a long couple of days." Captain Morgan said, "You gonna root for me Saturday?" Who? Me? Well, I'm wondering if he's talking to us. Or who? I'm going to root for you, I'm going to beat him Saturday. Yeah. Maybe you anyway, if I think. That's what it looks like on Navionics. It's a teleco damn Randy said a penis. <laughs> Tony said, "Is that an achievement award for the state of Tennessee?" Cast submit it. What kind of do you have to have specific pictures? Is that what you were talking about? Tarps, tarp eligible on certain trophy fish. They give you a certificate. Yeah, they'll you can get a. What's up, Curse Cunningham? Cass Blast caught a 22 pound carp that was eligible, but he didn't get the right picture. Yeah, you get a tip for about any. Yeah, Tennessee Angler Recognition Program. Gizzard's well, greasy, ain't it? Yeah. Not one. Any what's on your mind? <laughs> what time is that tournament? King Cats. Early Saturday morning. So are they doing the King of the the other King of the Tennessee and the and the King Cats at the same time? Well, I mean same day? Yeah. Any common carp over 34 inches is eligible, but have to meet certain requirements from the state to send in pigs and whatnot. Yeah. Oh, okay. I got 13 last year, cast seven different species. Randy, what's on your mind? <laughs> It's a penis point at the dam, huh? Here. They call it trophy awards in Kentucky. It's the same thing in Kentucky, 34 inches or whatever. That's how big the catfish have to be, too, isn't it? That's right. 34 inches. Yeah, they consider a 34 inch catfish a trophy catfish. The trophies. Trophies, I tell you. 
Who should I get? I hope someday I'll get the regular, regular person. I'll send in pics with measurements of the tape on the fish. Morgan said I want Daryl's king of the Tennessee. They're all going to be. I picked up for it. They're going to probably fish. Uh, I mean, I, they might fish Watts Bar, but they're Chicken probably going to fish Chicken Bar. Yeah. I wouldn't fish Watts Bar with 100 boats out there. I mean, yeah. he's fishing the King of the Tennessee. So, Travis was talking about fishing the king cats. They don't care about weight, just the measuring tape. So, yeah, Travis said the machine got to have some kind of competition out there. You guys don't, uh, you don't fish in, but it's like whoever comes in first place next week, how do they do that? You know, fish everybody fishing it again, or a new bunch fishing it, and then gonna have a. Curtis said, "Ohio has a trophy program called Fish Ohio. You you get a certificate and a pin." I think in Tennessee they just send you a certificate or something. Is that what they do, Jacket? What Tennessee they send you just a certificate, ain't it? I don't know. Curtis you pay, said, "You pay ten bucks, and they send you a tarp award. A tarp award. You should. I should have a gang of pins. Well, there you go. Right next to the boat. Feed is on. Oh, King Cats is March thirtieth. I do not turn my nose up at it, but I do not participate. So that's not this coming weekend. That's yeah. next. Yeah, that'll be the thing. Weekend after. Oh, okay." The way y'all were talking about it, I thought it was this coming weekend. Carp, carp can be you're not, you know. You're, cat. Give you you should have a gang of pins coming. <laughs> Michael loves them. In Ohio, you don't have to submit any proof. You just wear a caught in the sides, and it's optional to upload a pic. He loves it on white tackle. Well, I bet he does. Those things are like torpedoes. Huh? They're like torpedoes. Yeah, we had to get, get we had to renew our license last weekend. I think we got them last Sunday. What? Our license. Oh. Both of them were expired. <laughs> King Cats. All right, cast. It's March 30th. It's a King Cat. Um, Fishing tournament. It's a trailer tournament. The King Catch the 30th. It's the 30th. No, it ain't. It's coming weekend, ain't it? See? What? I was, I'm confused. That tournament? It's coming weekend, ain't it? Yeah. It, it yeah. We get it. I don't know what tournament he's talking about. Is he talking about the paid tournament or the free Randy, tournament? Randy. We win nothing. Randy said King Cats is March 30th, I think. But, I, that, yeah, I've been thinking it was this coming weekend. That's the impression I was under. And I tell you what, that's a walk out there to that. You wouldn't think it would be. The fish right there from the bank. Oh, the trail that goes down to it. You don't think you're ever going anywhere. It goes way back up into the river. Uh -huh. right 
And this should be able to fish off their bank there. Uh huh. It came through that bike trail. A bike trail? There's a mountain bike trail right here. It would be a mountain bike trail because it's rough. I don't think I need to ride no bicycle through there. That's the winter pool. It's right next to that big round thing. Trail right there under six. The winter pool you can about reach where the yellow rods are. Look it up. What? The quota. <laughs> Tony said I was going to say Lisa's 79 pounder and Stone's 86 pounder beat that turning for King already. It's well, that's a local tournament. Come on, fish. Oh. You got nutter butters? Not everybody? Mm -hmm. Oh, you got dip in your mouth? Mm -hmm. I saw Ken the other day. I meant to ask him if he could still quit smoking. He was doing good. I bet he is. It ain't even really chilly out here tonight, is it? No, it feels good. At least the wind quit. Mm hmm. See, I can handle it if it would be like this. <laughs> you think about more crap? Uh uh. It sucks. But it's nice out here, though. Mm hmm. But I think the water temperature being up a little bit make them a little more active. Tony said, still a lot of daylight there. It's 6.37. Yeah. You still in California? Mm-hmm. It's so weird when you watch. Came back. It's coming back tomorrow, I think. Okay. Winging his way back. He said he's going to fish a week straight. Don't blame the mother. <laughs> they should be have plenty of water up there, that's for sure. Yeah. The rivers north of us are still all up. It's like crying out the butt. Well, they are. They've been spilling it all out here, that's for sure. Mm hmm They are damned have been spilling just about nonstop. The other day though, Loudon was as low as I've seen it. Yeah, they sucked it dry the other day. Mm-hmm. There's about a series of mud puddles. I 
Um, Randy said the first half of the field for King of the Tennessee River was today. Second half of field fish is next week, and the King Cats Tournament Trail is March 30th. Trail Tournament. King Cats Tournament Trail Tournament. Nope, red. They got locked jaw. <coughs> the king of the Tennessee will be crowned next Saturday by the highest weight for three fish. They actually have a belt for that one, don't they? Mm. The King of the Tennessee has a belt, I think. Adventure America said, I haven't caught a fish either. Are you fishing? Right now? Brad said the biggest fish on Kentucky Lake last weekend was 63. Thank you, Tony. If you don't care, hit that like. Got 19 awesome people in here. Workers and all. I've done that two or three times. I don't know why I never have never have that much trouble with this thing sitting up. This weekend, and it keeps wanting to tip over. By the way, Miss Yet caught a new personal best last night, 77 pounds. Who did? Mrs. Yak. Yak caught his personal best. And it was 60 last night, too. Really? Cool. That's awesome. <clears throat> like blue cats? I know it was. About through the cam in the water earlier, Tony. I mean, it was close. My phone. That's awesome, awesome, awesome. They catch them down there on Chickamauga? Hmm? Didn't think I had one. Wow. That thing's bright as snot. Mm -hmm. It's a low key. We're right, in Kentucky Lake. Well, you need balance to get a bite, huh? All three of them together weighed seventy four point thirty three on the cheek. They catch them from boat or bank. Did you hear that, Randy? He wants to know boat or bank. Uh, we had ten fish. Almost always be hooked up. Wait about 150 a day. 
Cool. Yeah. It was the most guaranteed bite in all the land. That is a big lake. Tony said, sweet red hillifar for me. <laughs> the eggs were from a boat. They were with Brandon Fish Chisel. We must be asleep in this or something. Was we were asleep. We, I missed everything last night. I was asleep from like 7 o'clock on. And then I slept till about 9.30 this morning. When I say I slept, I slept. Surely they were live. Somehow. Big old fish on Chick Marble. I wish we could go down there and fish. It's far. So these are big bluefish for Florida. They're, they said they are flat everywhere right now. <laughs> that, ain't, that ain't even as big as... Which again, this ain't nothing to for... They're a lot of fun to catch. Randy said she caught hers last night about 9 or 9.30 and, and he got his about midnight. Fishing That's cool. Virginia, Shore, Virginia Beach was bluefish that uh, the big Red drum and black drum. Yeah. Um, that yeah. Was red I think we've been seeing pictures of it everywhere Facebook and all. This. What are they doing? <laughs> yeah, we just catch giants. Morgan said, Randy, did you get a second win? Mm -hmm. That's five. I don't know. Come on, fish. Take it. Where'd that other battery go? It might be the wind. No, that's the the back of the boat's moving. <laughs> I 
want him to jump again. Like it is the wind. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get it out there for you, Ricky. Oh, he's got a, he's either hung or got a fish. Uh -huh. He got sankered anyway. Uh -huh. How do you get hung? Stay where it lays for right now. Okay. Maybe something pull it out. Yeah, I'll keep the boat in place. Yeah. <laughs> Another we got two anchors back there now. There's your rock tip back. <laughs> well, he let go, he let go didn't he? <laughs> yeah, he did. Oh, bump. That's the next one. Let's go. Did he let go? <laughs> It's all, uh, <laughs> he had it he had heard in the water drop. Oh, no. I stepped on my ginger ale. Let me oh, put no. it back on. Let oh. me put it back on quicker. Mm -hmm. Well, that was almost exciting. <laughs> all right, out of play. Yeah. I was nearly excited. Actually, I was a little excited. I mean, another biter. Well, I can tell the way it landed. There door. was a weight on it of some sort. Place it forward into a fragment. <laughs> Just to prove the point, huh? Yeah. Oh, you was just born. They could smoke you like that. Although, one of the last times I fished this here with you, Travis, didn't we have that exact situation here? Well, you can take a pole on hill catch the most fish that send your Travis. I, I, I always catch them. Yeah, I think so. We had to take down tonight that broke off a rod holder, Randy said. Well, I was sitting over there on 4th of July night. Got out of the I tub and crawled into bed. I ended up with a 50-pound striper that broke an ugly stick in half. Took it out of that snag, but I didn't, I, didn't, <laughs> hey, Jeff, I didn't bury the hook into the snag. I just didn't, when I realized Did I was snagged up, most? I just put it in the freeze pool and set it down. Yeah, I just mm. buried it down. That fish took that bait right on off of there. I'm like, thank you. So he broke my rod in half. Then I thanked it anyway because cool. <laughs> three batteries. Hmm. I said there should be three batteries. Oh, you're hardly fishing. There it is. Oh, that rod to double up. It's time for one of them to do something. Just got your butt handed to me in the game, Kerplunk, with my little nieces. I swear I was going to win. <laughs> <laughs> What's up? You glad you got your coat? <laughs> Did I? Yeah. I got my coveralls and everything else in the. I mean, my, my, you I know. Myself get cold. That hundred mile an hour suit in the van, but I didn't think I needed. I don't know it. if it's me or my 
I'm getting soft, but I swear the last year or two, the cold gets to me person. Captain Morgan said, tell Ricky to stop lying. Oh, you've been soft, man. You're just not admitting it. You're one away from 300, Jeff? <laughs> I used to go. I used to go. You know, we used to. That's cool. Remember when we I was what, ending up what, Gizzard what? Shad and I'd throw him on the deck of the boat just and hit instantly would turn to ice? <laughs> You remember going? You have some good shorts and stuff. I'm surprised you don't have more than 300. But you have just been doing it for four months or so. Yeah, why'd you go in anyway? You fell, didn't you? Morgan said, quit lying, Ricky. I wanted to go swimming. Huh? Morgan said, quit lying. What? (laughs) You can only lie if it's to back up one of Morgan's lives. (laughs) I got it on video. He's got it on video. You're 305. Hey, Morgan, I have a lot of fun when I'm fishing with you. Hey. Yakety, 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 yak. What's up? Congratulations on the personal best and congratulate Mrs. Yak on hers. That's awesome. Chickamauga has some big fish. Hey, hey, Cindy, it says, uh, what's the deal? I've known Randy and I, what? What's the rest of that? (laughs) I've known Randy and Lisa a lot less time than you all, but they've come and fished with us. Do you not love us? Yeah, I'm glad you had like instant people. Well, Florida, we're just, yeah. I don't know, we just can't plan. <laughs> you see that massive hit? We didn't do nothing last night. I went to bed about seven o'clock. Dean, nice to see you're doing good, not fishing Poland Creek anymore. Yeah, how did you like reeling that big fish in? I know Missy acted like reeling her then. I have to use the whole skip jack, so it real, feels like I'm really one in. <laughs> he said, nice to see you're doing good, not fishing Poland Creek anymore. So you just, yeah. Oh, I'll be fishing Poland Creek now. I love fishing. Yeah, he said, dude, the big fish fight so differently. I know. Yeah, they just slam it. It's, all, it's, it's a whole different world when a big fish hits. Just the way they swim is different. You don't feel that. Thump, 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 thump. You feel this. Oh, that power. Still can't believe I landed on the 30 pound line. Oh, I, I landed my 93 and 5 mile an hour current on 30 pound test. Yeah. That line can walk. That 30. was a ball. I guarantee you. I've caught 100 pound tarpon on 30 pound line. I've caught 450 yeah. pound blue marlin on 30 pound test. Yeah, 30 pound test. That's all we ever use on any of the rods. 30, 30 pound, pound test. test is B- as long as you have the appropriate leader for your appropriate hey, Keith. sergeant says. Twice. In yeah, the we use an 80 pound leader. You gotta use a leader. Unless you go, unless you go trout fishing with Jacob and he gives you six pound test trying to catch a or in gym clear 10 water pound trout. <laughs> that day, though. <so. laughs> I mean, you you didn't get trout, many bites well that day, but that. the bites you got that day on that little rod were like real brown, those real brown trout up there. <laughs> he had one where he's like, I'm going to go pee, and he turned around, that thing ripped that rod back, and about knocked his hat off, hit him in the face with well. it. <laughs> and he was just reeling, that rod was slammed over, and drag was going, and it was running off to the other side, and he couldn't. He was 50 pound liters? He couldn't stop it from going around the log. No, that was eight pound test all the way. We used it. We used. I think we had all eighty pound liters. Yeah, just think if you'd have caught that fish on uh, that kayak. <laughs> uh, they would have drug you everywhere. We have Friday evenings that we're available to fish, and then Saturday. Believe it or not, which we never get out till better, late on I Saturday. Was out looking for skipjacks. I catch those damn trout. Which we got out a little earlier today, but we skipped a fish. On flies? And we don't get out till late on Sunday. 
So how are you on those days? I'd see them up, you know, shadows up on the, the underground rocks and stuff and throw that direction. They'd come flying out and eat them. Yeah, he said I was too lazy. Wait a minute. Let me read it. So, yeah, I found uh, the first one I caught was on a. That's why I said 30 pound test. I only use one pound so test for big cats. <laughs> and it was about five or six pound rainbow. And when I stuck my. If you ever get to mouth, meet the ex, make sure mm -hmm. they have Josie with them. She is the real reason to meet them. I met him at CatCon. Damn fish got I met Josie at CatCon. She's a cutie patootie. I never knew yeah. that. Big trout. Big trout. I, I met a mall at CatCon. Yeah, I know that. I had, I, they cut me pretty good. I was too lazy to re rig, so I stole a 150 pound liter from Brandon. I'm like, whoa, wait a minute. I won't put it my just happened to work out that the 60 came on in. I have on my phone. Oh, Lisa, she and Shana are both snoring already. I'm not far behind. 19, 20 inch. Just let her. She made the day. None of you know what it is to catch a big cat. I've got some stories to tell you. Way bigger ones than that. Picture didn't you know happen. I got one of me trying to hold it, pinch its jaw, and it gets the grabbing me and spinning and slices my hand all to pieces. Oh. You no, know, I was catching way bigger. I, I caught it. 29 and a half, like 29 inches. It was like 29 and a quarter or just over 29. Yeah. Yeah, stories don't count without pictures, Captain. Lisa got a new little buddy. Do what? Lisa got a new little buddy. Baby yak. Oh. Baby yak 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 So what needs to happen, yak, is you need to get with Travis and plan something. Because I suck at planning. Y'all plan something out and I'll be there. Uh. I, mean, I should be off for a week in July. So we may we'll probably do a lot of fishing in July. It'd be hot though. But I have a week's layoff. Tony, don't worry, but easier once the boat is finished. I had to pay Randy and Lisa to fish with us. <laughs> Apparently, we are horrible people. <laughs> Butterflies and Sunshine said, Burrito, she is my cutie yak. She is cute. Can you me a Morgan, you going to bed? Adventure America. Shimano Terramar. I tell you what. This whole work situation has got me so up in the air. And it always does. Like, mm -hmm. I was laid off for, like, the last week of December and the first, yeah, like, three like weeks of uh, January. And now they've been working us at least 50 hours a week. And when I go back Monday, I'm going to have the rotating supervisors in the plant, which makes no sense to me. But I'm going to have a new supervisor and all kinds of crap. And I still have no idea. I'm still supposed to be working more. So I still love that. Going they came out and fished a tournament with you. You have a solid day. Yeah, I, I know. <laughs> and you didn't have to pay them. <laughs> it sounds like you'll have fun. Sounds like you've had an epic weekend, is what it sounds like. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, we used to go up and down the Chesapeake Bay Bridge. Offered to pay you for that tool. You said no. Yeah, my work is crazy. Ask Travis is, if it's not the craziest place to work you've ever heard of. They make no sense on notice on any of the decisions they make. 
There it is. I would have said no to you. This is the video that no fishing tomorrow, just working on the boat. Yakety yak. Morgan said it's like watching trainees. No, like watching trainees. <laughs> <laughs> well, he had his teeth on it and he clenched and he rolled almost like an alligator. And I was trying to hold him so he didn't get away, so I'd take the photo. And I was trying to go with him and he tore my hand all to pieces. <laughs> well, the pool pads ain't getting it tonight. But nowhere really is. We've voted zero fish. I cannot believe we ain't got a new fish. <laughs> yeah. We've been out here, man. It was my pleasure to watch you. The actual said, Randy almost threw me off the boat. I kept biting line with my teeth and calling him, sir. <laughs> That's funny. I do. Adventure America. Too bad nobody wants to pay. <laughs> I do it for sure. I'm an addict. What do you want to give it? Ten more minutes. Where to next? Uh, he said, Randy, we really do look forward to the next trip. And he said, I'm going to get the fish finder working or throw it away. And that rear electric, electric winch on the anchor. Well, we were in 30 feet. Can't feel <clears throat> If we had a fish finder, we would have crushed it today, I feel like. <laughs> Y'all did pretty good for not having a fish finder. <laughs> I don't feel like you can always trust them. Maybe people depend on them too, too much. It depends on which ones you got and stuff. Sometimes the simpler ones are better, really. Randy said, what are you Oh, your name is Troy? Okay, cool. I will remember that or try to. You may have to remind me once or twice and then I'll get it. I actually do better at names on YouTube than I do in real life. <laughs> you got a lot of shower energy. That's one of my favorite movies, so maybe I'll remember it. I call Yak. Yakety yak and yak and stuff, but I know his real name's Anthony. Some people I use their real names, and some people. Are you going to take our spot at the mouth of Sinking Creek, Travis? You yeah, know. It's our spot. It ain't, I mean, it ain't hot fire, but I catch fish there. I don't know, we catch fish there. Yeah. Come on, fish. Good thing is, right now, you don't have to worry about all them other things. Yeah, pretty soon it'll be out here. You can't stir people with a stick. Is that where we're going next? Yeah, I like the low rents, too. That's what uh, Jacob over here has the low rents. Yeah, said. All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this old man is off to bed. Don't you whippersnapper stay up partying too late. Try to catch a toad, though. Later, yet. Good night, yakety yakety yak. They could be. Not that way, bro. Up at the mouth of the cove. Yeah, I know. <sighs> You 
Oh, y'all, you out of here too, Troy? Why is Sampy's in black? Oh, that's your new account. You're not a, you don't have a ranch in here. You had to do a new uh, YouTube account too, Sampy. Man, you had to do everything new, didn't you? Probably lock him out, everyone. Okay. I hope we catch something, anything. It feels wrong to be on the boat and not catch anything. We usually do them. Um, even out here on Loudon. Yeah, I don't get it. We felt something. But it will be a way sometime. Mm -hmm. I really wish I would have got up and went fishing last night. I was just too tired. I mean, I woke up a bunch of times, you but still, oh, over there where the channel I slept about 14 was hours. Morgan said, I'm losing weight. I need that king of Tennessee to hold my pants up. <laughs> That's a big bell. Even if your pants don't stay Morgan, up. Morgan, what lake are you, you going to fish uh, Watts Bar? Or are you going to go down and fish Chickamauga? Or are you going to fish Loudon? That would be funny if you fish Loudon and won it. It would. Really wrong with that picture out there. Huh? Take its rods and oh, it's cool. Something's playing with it. Yeah, Reel down on that rod. No, since she's got a lot of slack in it or something. It's in a lot of Had a lot of slack in it. I don't know. I thought it went down that way. I know I didn't throw it down that way. Yeah. <laughs> I just stick it in right over. We're getting ready to move anyway. Just coming off that way, though. We will be more heading up at the white fence from the breeze. And then we'll go over there. That's a proven spot. <laughs> yeah, come over. I'm just fishing the same bait. I figured wearing my no BS hat and my no BS shirt would give us luck. I don't know. We have a lot of luck speaking loud right now. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> right. 
Captain Morgan said, I'm going for whales catfish in England. <laughs> they won't know. <laughs> That's true. They won't know where you're at, Morgan. It'll just take you a while to get over there with your boat. <laughs> yeah. Better ship it now, quick. You just ride it over you there. put it on a plane. Have them drop it off. You helicopter. Well, I don't even know if you could helicopter it over. All right. Did you bring Penelope? She didn't bring Penelope. That's what's wrong. She got bad duty on the boat. She didn't bring Penelope. <laughs> we need pineapples in chat. Pineapples, people, pineapples. Pop some pineapples. Yeah. I got to get this thing. I don't know if the people that are in chat right now know much about the pineapple. We haven't been been bringing them. <laughs> we used to have a lot of a, a pineapple every time we fish. We had, we brought it on the boat and everything. Because of the wicked tuna people. Well, Tony dropped a pineapple, the word, and it dropped his link. <laughs> well, you'll have to call a fish. You have to suck the pineapple. <laughs> Troy, <laughs> we're gonna cap going for catfish in Tennessee. Don't uh -huh. tell Cindy or Travis. <laughs> That's a long way from Corpus Christi. But come on. You could do it on the Tennessee River. But I suggest going down to Alabama. <laughs> Apparently, Chickamauga is good enough right now. Chickamauga, yeah. I'm about to hitchhike down there. Go fishing. You kill that lot for a few minutes. The only place that we fished on the chick is down there at Uchi. The only place I fished on this chick is down there at Uchi. Travis has caught some big fish down there. Tenacity. I'll for sure let you know if I ever get down Texas way. That would be awesome. My brother lives in um, Vicksburg, Mississippi, so I may eventually get down that way. Maybe. <laughs> it's been a long time since I've been to Vicksburg. Hey, Fresno. What's going on? We're moving spots real quick. This fish got locked jaw tonight. some on the fish finder, but just can't get them suckers to buy. Well, you know, Fresno, have you been fishing?
garbage. I hope the wind noise isn't too loud, guys. It won't last long because we ain't going all that far. We're going through the debris field. <laughs> Drake, no. That's what I said. It's a debris. It's a debris field. Most of it's they don't seem to be real big, but there's a lot of them. I don't know how it's said, Chris. <laughs> Are you doing voice to text? <laughs> Mine says some crazy stuff when I'm doing voice things. You can tell because I make a lot of typos when I'm doing that. <laughs> hey, were, were you in my life the other night when... Uh, When Reef Rover came in and said, Get his name. <laughs> that was the funniest thing. I laughed for about 10 minutes over there. Still funny. Man, there's so much garbage in the water, little sticks everywhere. All that rain, storms. Is that buoy the one we're going to? The green buoy? They're in Corpus Christi at Anthony, Texas. I can remember things about YouTube way better than I remember stuff in my life.
y'all can see out front here, we're having to navigate through all kinds of sticks and logs. Travis has got the spotlight. Check your pan signs. Yeah, you can hear them. Yep. Yeah. And that's with us trying to navigate around them. You'll still hear them that are semi submerged. I think he had one motor dragon on one. Rest up. a lot where uh, out the year it Almost there, guys. One place too long? Uh -huh. <laughs> I don't doubt it. Oh, toes went sleep. He was squatted down there so long as toes went to sleep. <laughs> we just went over a lot of good marks. Look at down there. Magic 40 foot range. And we went drop it. How close we read Bowie? Almost uh, 40 feet. Yeah. 
I'd say, yeah, go ahead. What's up, Mark? Yeah. And no, we're not. We're still trying, though. You're at the mercy. Yeah, yeah. You. Mercy of the Loudon. Oh, I'm glad I looked at the battery on the phone. Oh. You just stay on that one. Butterflies and sunshine. Thanks for coming in and hanging out. Not at all. Cass, we're not doing the about four loudon. Yeah. Being tough right now. Yeah. But that's okay. Cass said got the meat filleted and skin getting grease popping hot now. <laughs> cool. Yeah, that's all we can do. Cass said today was a tough, but I feel you, Cindy. Yep. About all the new YouTubers and undermining him saying loud and his garbage. <laughs> now let the fun begin. Let some fun begin. <laughs> We just started getting them bam, bam, bam. Yeah, that would be nice. You should post a big fish from Loudon. There ain't too many big fish get caught in Loudon, but some. All right. 
What is your is this one yours? Yeah. Which body of water are you fishing, Morgan? Did you ever say? You've never, never caught a fish in London? It's Loudon. <laughs> That's me, I'd maybe be standing right back. Oh, you'd be what? I lay across this whole back thing. I keep my feet up there, put my head here, and I snooze sometimes. <laughs> Ricky, what he's really trying to say is, will, will you let him lay his head on your lap? Oh, yeah. That's it. That was essentially what I was asking. <laughs> Pineapple, 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 pineapple. <laughs> what are you talking about? You're going to have pineapple. to get a better attitude about this fishing tonight for some reason, too. They ain't like it. <laughs> Big now to close the rod up and keep the bowling. I think I've never seen one of them. What? <laughs> one of them that bows the rod, the rod up and keep the bowling. Except when they I got hung on an anchor rope. They're called bowling knives. The only one I saw like that had the, uh, well, I had the line on the anchor rope. Morgan said, I have. Never caught a fish in London either. <laughs> Autocorrect is saying London. <laughs> they don't know what Loudon is. There are a lot of people that don't know what Loudon is. Right. Uh, mine, mine did that for the longest time. But <laughs> Lenore City, your phone don't want to type Lenore City either. I don't know what Lenore is. Oh, goodness. I think my buddy is up on Lake Lenore. Lake Lenore? Yeah. Just above him, just prove him wrong. It's that easy. You got it that easy, right? And I don't concern myself overly with everything that he says, or anybody for that matter. What? Or uh, Dave's rants and stuff that he goes on with. He just. It's keeping people watching. Dave is a mastermind of of keeping controversy and or just something going. People watching. <clears throat> That's what he do. I mean, he says some facts and stuff, but he likes to keep it going. So he likes to get that reaction. <laughs> That's his job. Are you sitting on that? What? That other the Gore-Tex? You want it? No. I just wonder if you're sitting on Sitting on both of them. Okay. You need one? Mm -mm. I'm not sitting down. No. Oh. Well, dang, man. I was wondering what you're doing there. My back is broke. I can't sit there no more. Oh. <laughs> so like Jacob. You know what, Richard? This is how I call them in. Well, you need to call one in back there, buddy. I'm watching my only two rods. Need some dynamite. Good. 
said he was talking about Lonnie who? at one point. Oh, who even knows? What's up, Modog? Modog. What's going on? How's the how's the how's the pound? Oh, he was for sure talking about red at one point. <laughs> <laughs> Made Red's day. Yeah, I know. Red catfish. Red, red changed his. Red changed his profile picture over to catfish. Him and catfish day. It is good, sir. He said. Mo diggity, mo dog. The mo diggity dog. Feel it. One of them's gonna go. Which one will it be? I Which thought I heard somebody talking. About it. It's him looking at his phone. Go ahead. I thought I heard somebody talking, like on the bank or whatever, and it's Jacob oh. looking at his phone. <laughs> <laughs> like, Man, I can hear him off Crystal's making dinner and the kids are playing. I'm good. The pets are awesome. Dang. Cool. You really can't. Uh, Man, that, you can't beat that, my No. Uh, everything's coming up, Roses. Oh, something's so wrong. What's up with that? <laughs> Mo dog, you're going to have to call fish in over here or something. Yeah. Talk about bass and maybe catfish. Send one of bass over here to pick up one of these baits. Right? That'll work for now. At least we'll have something on the line. I know. Skunk be gone. Last year. <laughs> what? He said he wore some bass out last year. Oh, you guys did. Oh, oh yeah, we did. We caught a bunch of bass from the bank. Uh, off cut bait. It was weird. I know. But in the middle of summer, though. I caught some bass. On Mountain Hill a few years ago, I, I couldn't believe it was a bath when it hit. It's funny to catch a uh, bass on one of these heavy rods. <laughs> you just drag it. The, well, the one I was reeling, I was reeling so hard that I just, it just shot right up out of the water. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, dang. Before I knew it, it that said, Bass it went boom. I was like, "What are you doing, little bass?" It, I actually wasn't that small a bass. <laughs> no, a lot of people would like to cut that. Bass. Right. Picking up a big old piece of cut bait. I was like, "What are you doing?" <laughs> yeah. Trunk, trunk of cut bait big enough for a forty fifty pound catfish. And and that big large mouth just sculpts it. Well, yeah. Suck it right now, like it's not. Four or five pound bass just want to grab it and take off with. It's funny though, they hit hard. But then when you start reeling them, they ain't no match for that big old heavy rod. So they're like, shoo. <laughs> Looks like a flying fish. Modog said, I'll go grab a spinner bait and rattle it along with saying, there you see, go. go outdoors and you should have a catfish in no time. There you go. <laughs> see? <laughs> he knows what he's doing. At this point, keep throwing the anchor. <laughs> Got a hook on with the anchor? Knock Hell, you might hit one float to top, Morgan said. Ain't no doubt, Morgan. Well, yeah. I think Morgan's about the only person that specifically comes in here to heckle us. <laughs> he, he knows, though, like we all do. If you get on loud and then ain't nothing biting, <laughs> current, no current, whatever, it's... Modog said, LOL, AJ, my boxer's name is actually Modog Morris. Modog Morris? Yeah. <laughs> Tony said, hell yeah, Modog Morris. Morris the key. Remember Morris That's the their key. last name is Morris. Remember so Morris his whole channel is named after his dog. 
Oh, no, I don't know. <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> you know what I just think? <laughs> Morris the cat ain't even on TV no more. No. That's been forever ago. You're showing your age. Is that you? Yeah, that's what I just think. You got a pet, my dog? That's why it's the pound and everything else. He's going to do a dance, a jiggity. Mo is. He's, throwing, he's going all out trying to help us catch a catfish. <laughs> They're hitting during the day, Captain Morgan good. said. I know that, but you saw the caption though, right? Yeah. We definitely the had caption. About it. Yeah. Earlier when it, it said, it, it like said yeah. Plan B in the uterus. Oh, no. That's what it said. That's what we're it said. That's plan B. What's the cat's name? Mo Kitty. If Mo can't help, no one can. Mo Dog can't help. Mo Cat. Okay. That's what it was. Mo Dog. It was uh, plan B in there chasing around. Mo Dog singing his new song. Get all your little kids. Where there's an accident. Good job. No, it wasn't just a thing. It was the caption plan B in the year. I thought it was funny. My dog said, Here, kitty, kitty, let's catch some fishy, fishy. You caught a thirty eight Wednesday, Morgan. Awesome sauce. Well, I blown up. Yeah. Somebody just dynamite to catch the fish. That's what it was, wasn't it? Probably. The cat's name is Salem. It's solid black, you know, because Mrs. Modog is a witch and all. Oh, she's a witch? We didn't know she was a witch. I heard him say something about it before. <laughs> Tony said, damn, Mo Diggity. That's how she, uh, that's how she hooked on Modog. She cast a spell on him. <laughs> she went to the... No, I ain't going to say it. <laughs> Although she said it first. I ain't going to say it. Well, dang it, man. <sighs> I'm kind of unsure why we came back to the scene of the first crime here. Well, we wasn't finished with the first. Oh, I cut it short. <laughs> yeah, I did. She caught me because she used to wear Chatterbaits' earrings. Is that what it was? <laughs> hey, Modog heard them Chatterbaits, and that's all he could do. Oh, I thought he was talking about them. I thought he was talking about biscuits or something. Cheddar Bay. <laughs> Cheddar Bates. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. Maybe Morgan said he. Cheddar biscuits or something. Morgan said he was a warlock. Cheddar better. You're a captain and a, and a warlock there, Morgan? <laughs> Captain Warlock, that's what I'm going to start calling him. I've seen some series on uh, Netflix. I'm going to watch it. It's uh, Lock and Key. 
Oh yeah, I started watching that. Troy said the chatterbaits gave it away, Mo Dog. <laughs> She knew what she was doing. Modog said, Come on, fish, don't make me call Dale. Yeah. You don't leave us hanging. Dale, uh, Dale was in here earlier. Wasn't he? Yeah, he was. Yeah. So. <laughs> One day runs into another. One live runs into another. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Don't make me call Earl. Oh, Troy's breaking out the big guns now. Hey, AMC. Happy St. Patrick's Day to you, too. Is it St. Patty's Day? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Okay. I thought, is it the 17th or whatever? Catfish pig sizzling in IG, Cindy, it's Cat's Blast said. <laughs> Cat's Blast don't scare them all. Mo dog, that's what it was. I heard him say catch and cook, and they were like, no. Mo dog said, oh my God, I forgot it was St. Patrick's Day. Well, you better go pinch Crystal and then run. Am I wearing any green? I don't think I am. Oh, is it tomorrow? Okay, see, I didn't miss it. My brother's done all kinds of crazy stuff for St. Patrick's Day. He dyed his beard green once. And I mean green. That's what I, I thought it was the 17th. I didn't think I'd missed a day. Because uh, last week we had Pi Day. And then the next day was the Ides of March. Yeah. <sighs> You better find something green for tomorrow, Mo Dog. What is the Ides of March? March fifteenth. Period. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's the day they killed uh, Caesar. Oh, okay. Because that's for the saying, "Beware the Ides of March" can't comes from. Okay. That's why I was wondering where that came from. Yeah, but literally, it's this. To, it's. 15th of March. <laughs> and Pi Day is uh, March 14th because it's Pi is 3.14. I used to work with a whole lot of nerds. Right. I know what Math pie nerds is. and stuff, yeah. I know what Pi is, too. Yeah, it's I used for to cut eating, up huh? a couple slabs of it. And eat. <laughs> 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 pi or Mom, mom used to do the whole cornbread all around, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, you missed a lot, Hitch. We moved a couple times. About 500 pounders. Yeah. Everybody on the boat got a new personal best. 500 pound slab of metal. I might paint Clifford green for St. Patrick's Day and call him the Jolly, Ring, Jolly Green Giant. Who the, who the hell's Clifford? Clifford, the dog. Well, where is my dog getting Clifford? I don't know. Clifford might be a... See? What what kind of dog was he anyway? A big red dog. <laughs> He's going to be a green dog. <laughs> Clifford is a big red dog. Good old Cliffy. Ow. 
Like a terrible bite. Modog said, well, you don't know me at all. Now, listen, if you've never had Clifford on your Thursday night show since I start watching, started watching, and you didn't bring him up in my chat, then how am I supposed to know about Clifford? He said, well, you don't know me at all. Now I feel put out. How have you not let me know you, Modog? Let's find out who knows me. Someone tell them who Clifford is. It didn't happen until Modog showed up. See? Ain't nobody knows you. This is like a porcupine bird or something. It is like the a quills never, never yeah. move. No. Hmm. We're new, Modal. Tell us who Clifford is, and we'll all know. He will reveal Clifford. Well, I don't know why not. He said that we don't know who Clifford is. But if he's the Jolly Green Giant, Clifford must be big. We know that. You have a son that sometimes comes in chat. We know that your wife has awesome coffee and smelly goods. We know that you steal bass out of other people's spots, according to that other person. <laughs> um, no dog, if you steal them bass out of that one spot, I'll take them. There we go. I see them. Where's he at? He's taking them like the girl. Oh. Lord, it just got bumped. I ain't going to get excited about that. He's on it. Yes, he was excited. He's trying not to need your this one, maybe. Clifford hit a boar. And Clifford got stuck in the mud. Clifford is your truck. Big red truck. <laughs> no fish. Goodbye. Okay. Goodbye. For this vehicle, listen. I hit a boar with my my big red truck, or I didn't have a big red truck. I had a little brown car. But anyway, I hit a boar on the interstate. It was terrible. Like I nailed the crap out of it. Laugh at you. Oh. We got y'all excited. So, I was asking a bike because I was having to be. Watch it. Like, oh, don't, 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 don't. He's, he's trying to say now his rod got me. It's don't, 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 don't. It did not. I didn't hear a thing. There was a dog barking. Oh. <sighs> <sighs> What did he do? He's a geek. He scared him. He scared him? Mm -hmm. He scared him. I'm scaring him. Well, heck. <laughs> well, well, heck. You got to quit scaring him, Jack. <laughs> it is. This is terrible. You're getting a rap done this week after you hit 
the week about? we were getting the rap done the week after I hit the board. So that down. didn't happen because I dented him. Well, dang it. Right. Clifford fell in a hole, hitch by hitch said. I think it's sticky. Roadkill Texas barbecue. Oh, Yeah, Clifford did fall in a hole. I was super stuck that day. I knocked myself right out of the line. Super stuck? A super stuck. How in the world did you get your truck in a hole that you couldn't get out of? Hey, how you doing? You hear it, Fee? Did you hear that, Fee? <laughs> hey, you all set? Sure. You what? <laughs> yeah, way back down. Maybe we get another bite. <laughs> That's right. Casper said, I, "I left to eat catfish, and they're gone." Oh no! Oh, there y'all are. Yep. The only I time just, we got a bite was when he was eating or laying down. Mm -hmm. That's usually when we get a bite when he's laying. Good down. people out there. Modog said, and I almost backed him into the lake during a tournament, and then he got stuck in a pond. Well. Whether y'all catch a cat tonight, I'm having fun. Captain got me rum dumb. Kenny said, let Ricky pick a spot and we catch a fish. I don't know if I believe that. He picked the first spot. Yep. My dog said, okay, this dance is working and Captain's rum dumb. <coughs> Any other time we got current. I'm telling you. What is the got a boat and a fish finder and can't find no fish. You just wait, your day's coming. Okay. And I'm all heckle that you absolute and utter shit right out of you, Rudd. Well you have a boat. You have every conceivable Tony said, got to shake the money maker for boat, it to work more, duty. Get a bite. Exactly. Rugby race. Yeah, I feel boat. bad. First month. <laughs> it's been a while since I took my old boat out and got a scout. It happens. We would have got scout if we went to Wasp Bar. Oh, dog said, that's how I dance, AJ. Oh, Bye. I saw that. It's on that down line. Huh? I know it. That's a fish. I've been shaking it since I came in. Where? Over down line. You still there? Yep. Yes. He bit it. And then he just ignored it. No, it's not going to be What? I see him just bury it. Mm -hmm. That would be cool. Yeah, that's what you want to do. Unless something ran into the line underneath there. No. Nah. Because I thought it was kind of trying to take it back up a little bit. It's on there. It ain't on there. 
I bet you if I reel down on it, I pull up a piece of bait without nothing on it. Well, don't reel down on it. I ain't doing it yet. <laughs> Because we've done that a total of four times tonight. <coughs> We're kind of still debating whether it's current or something. Uh -huh. Uh, it still looks straight up now. Mm -hmm. Whatever it's doing, it ain't doing much. You know. It's what? Two fish. Just eat. Just eat. Morgan said, "Go cool, shallow." Wow. Yeah, we was shallow water. We tried that. Mid South is here. We know Mid South. He was here earlier. Another one of those. Just He's not in shop. here. Yeah, I think he was. Hitch by Hitch said, "Is he still mad at me?" Who? Men's oh. oh, for not getting him kayak. They said we're listening to Ricky. Morgan said you're listening to Ricky Dean. Ricky Dean is the fishing machine. We actually did listen to him his first spot. It didn't work out. Maybe was fish there, it just wasn't the right kind, I don't think. We've been more successful with bites here than anywhere, though. So we ain't going no more <laughs> until we go back to the dock. <laughs> yeah, we've definitely had two hits since we've been sitting back here again. Can you grab the rod, the line on that right rod right there? Mm -hmm. And pull it a little bit, get the stick off of it. There you go. I was hoping a fish would do that for you. Yeah, it'd be nice. I've sat in a spot like Jacob is right there for hours. Clickers on all of a sudden. I get blasted right out of my seat. Thanks oh, poor Klausy. Got him on, but it must... I got lost in transit. Swam around my boat for about <laughs> two hours one day. <laughs> Does catfish roll? Mm -hmm. Blue cat. Yeah, was there a rock and roll? Go find some rocks. <laughs> Cass Blast said he got his shallow today. Yeah. We fish shallow, the transitional. We ain't fished real shallow, but oh, maybe that's what we should have done. If the water is that warm, and the shallow, we probably should have. I swear, geese just got to announce that they're flying. They're like, look, we got off the ground. <laughs> <laughs> if a goose is flying, it's a honking. 
wolf down that fish dang good eating so is did you get footage for your video all of it now it's just the editing We're going to have to type stuff with the last part first and the first part last so you can read it right. Oh, so I won't go backwards? If I'm standing up here trying to stretch my back. 11 11. If we don't have a fish by 11 30, I'm kind of ready to the head to the house, boys. I don't know about y'all. So. Stand here stretching my bag. So when I look down, if I see that there's been more than one message, I do go backwards. But really, you really should turn around just to just to change things up. And Modo, I think this post front or something. When is hashtag now? At least for the hashtag now. Yeah, you gonna have a hashtag now where you have to type everything in hashtags and yeah, if you don't, you get like timed out and stuff. He was going to take everybody's wrenches. Yep, Cindy just editing now. Be out in a week or so. Also did a whole or a white bass cook. First time Second trying round. it. It was That's great meat. Man, I tell you what, white bass is yeah, real good too. Bite. I love white bass. Uh oh. Oh, you got a log over here. <laughs> I had a log hit this one. log fish. It's still stuck oh, yeah, on it. Stick roll. A stick roll. There you go. Now it's going to come back here and get his back rod, maybe. He's a slab, but he's by no means a PV. <laughs> <laughs> it might be a pine branch. It could be. <laughs> I disagree. I think it's a fine branch. It's definitely a PB. <laughs> you know, probably a little bit better, but I don't know why this tripod is bound being determined to uh, fall over tonight. It's just dinks. Did he get off too? It's just teeny dinks. It's on the way, it might be. That was a massive thing. Might be this, even though he misspelled this, Thursday night. Might be Friday, you never know. Thanks, what? What am I thinking? I'm thinking, I'm thinking that's number four that you missed. Uh -huh. We missed that one too. Uh, he said, "Catfish on." I got the grease hot still. No, we missed it. He missed it. We got about fifteen minutes. We'll see what happens. Never know. Well, something just splashed over there. The bass are probably hitting, sharpening the flame half now. You better not sharpen it for anything. We might get. Is it just same happening for us tonight? Don't look like. Not quite some of them last minute deals. But yeah, that white bass is surprisingly good, isn't it? Otter cat, don't even ask. I think it's bass sticking the bait up. It could be. I wonder if it's any of those sturgeon. Hey, that is a possibility. That might have been what you saw on the fish finder back there. Sturgeon. <laughs> <laughs> right, 
We uh, Travis cleaned some of the white bass we caught one night. Oh my gosh, it was good eating. Yeah, well, now last time I went saw when I went saw a session with Dayo, we kept some white bass. They're good, man. I said I'll never look at a white bass the same. No, I was shocked at how good they were. It's not been the best night for fishing. All right, Mo Dog, don't eat too much and get all miserable and stuff. Eat a lot, Mo Dog. He said, eat a lot. Travis is. Eat like the Mo Dog. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, Travis is encouraging people because he's building a he's building a shed. Yeah, I'm building my shed. Oh dog, later oh dog, mo dog, oh dog. <laughs> once a, once your phone gets something in its mind that it wants to type, then that's what it does. Hitch by Hitch said, I forgot to tell you the other day, I had a dream that I drove down to Tennessee and seen you guys fishing at a park. I stopped to say hi and left like two minutes after you were sitting in a chair. <laughs> and Travis was really in the rods. <laughs> he was reeling in the rods. <laughs> well, I mean, that sounds about right. But you can stay longer than two minutes if you're going to come meet us. We do fish at a park quite a bit. That's what probably what we should have uh, done is went down to the park. <laughs> we couldn't have done no work. It would, it would have been as good as any. <laughs> hitch by hatch, hitch, I feel like that you've been spying on us. <laughs> I was sitting in a chair and you were reeling in the rods. Y'all have been spying on us. We let y'all spy on us every week. <laughs> he was really in the rods. I was like, it must have been some kind of dream. Hitch by Hitch had a dream about us. Isn't that awesome? Mm -hmm. <laughs> what keeps changing, Troy? Oh, he keeps changing the Modog. <laughs> Man, I tell you what. <laughs> Q said go to Mark Dale's spot where he catches fish Hitch said I do believe I know where to find you guys <laughs> it'd be weird <laughs> if you knew where the park was and everything well, where's Mark Dale's spot at Dale's spot I think where's, where's Dale's spot <laughs> this is one of them <laughs> oh, we're on it. We're on his spot. Oh, one of them. <laughs> oh, maybe we should have went to Kenny's spot. <laughs> What's Kenny's spot? Like this. <laughs> 
Kenny's caught a big fish before. Back here, where I caught that 61. Boy, had I known it had been like this, I'd have said, folks, let's meet down at uh, those backwaters I was at last weekend. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> we couldn't have did no words, could we? Oh, I mean, I Cash Blast said, Joe got me wanting to catch yeah. more cats. That one was a teaser. That's Heck awesome, yeah. But yeah, usually it's a big one running around. Oh, oh, yeah, I caught a flathead about 15,000. It kind of makes sense, though, though, that you know, if you think about it. I'm going to need to get out and fish next week, maybe. If I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how next week's going to be. I'm real hot. Okay. It's surrendered. We got to surrender. Surrender. I surrender. That's fine. But... What, but? That's exactly right. You a little slow, mate. A little. Best we can hope for is a flathead has one of them in its mouth. It's sitting there. I, we, there was a blue did, did that down on Watts Bar when we was fishing the island. Oh, yeah? Remember? Oh, yeah. Now, he slimed that line up, didn't he? No, he didn't. What? I thought Jacob had slime on his line. It's a surrender of the rods. The catfish held out. Yes, they won. And won. <laughs> I about shot that freaking bait to the moon. To the moon, Alice, to the moon. Well, and you know what? I wasn't even really entertaining to the chat tonight, so I don't know. Awesome, Tonight was. You hooked that up, Cindy. Would you toss that board? Not the board. But no. You said toss the I board. I want to toss that whole daggone board. Dag on board. You, know I mean? you need a new board anyway, Jacob. That board is not bougie enough for you or this boat. That is it's kind of a generic board, really. Huh? I said, you need a new board anyway. That, that board is not bougie enough for you. Fine. Yeah, but it's not. It's not boozy enough for your neighborhood. It is boozy enough for your boat. But no, you need a new bait board. That one's. We're going to bring you a new bait board. Yeah, that one's a new bait board. That bait board's fine. Oh, it's lame. He's got an attachment to that bait board it's for some reason. An attachment? Yeah, he's attached to that bait board for some he's reason. Attached. Well, you have some sentimental attachment. Look at, my, look at my cooler. My cooler's right. It's a little green. My little green coat. Cooler, you know, like, yeah, well, so is your yellow bag. It looks a little raggedy. I don't understand it. I don't understand it, Jacob. I don't get it. I mean, if you're going to be bougie, you got to be bougie to the bone, bud. Oh, Jack. How do you have this? Jacob? I'm not with something. How do you have this stuff in your neighborhood? Yeah, you got to be the HOA. <laughs> hey, we got a guy with a little boards out here. <laughs> He's a bougie man. He's a bougie man. <laughs> look, look, look. What? Piper. It was a big old fish on the pitch oh, under a big one. It's up in the column. <laughs> No, it's not on the bottom. <laughs> well, let me get the anchor before you do all that. <laughs> I was holding the camera while you were reeling rods in. Let me pull the anchor. I said you didn't dump the bait, Sandy. Dang oh, I was really right. Turn my phone down again. That makes like the 42nd time tonight. I hold the phone. I time. told you. I know. Keep from doing that. You let it go. Well, he started fussing at me for not throwing his his uh, board in the water. <laughs> I asked you to throw it over. Well, I forgot we were arguing about it. <laughs> I can't help it. Ask Travis. Busy telling you you didn't need that board. 
Let me see the bullet. <laughs> Oh God! Cass said it need to add some more sunfish to the bait stock. Oh. Old dead bluegills caught me my current current PB. <laughs> oh, that scrap cat, scrap cat, scrap bass, scrap, scrap deer, and scrap skipjack, and I'm it ready is. for a new PB. Uh, that, that towel was white before you clean your floor. <laughs> <laughs> Just find Mo Dog and you'll find Dale. That's right. There are two peas in a pod. Now they're both gone. Yeah, well, sorry we didn't catch a fish. Sorry that I wasn't Lord, as entertaining I was, as I could have been. No while since I got stuck in the boat, guys. Sorry that I didn't go live last night. I feel it does make me feel better though. I know y'all think I'm feel I'm boat. saying sorry to y'all. But I'm really feeling sorry for me. And get skunk, <laughs> you know? Oh yeah. It makes me like, okay, it's not just me. It does <laughs> you <happen>. Jacob. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think I've been skunk since like beginning of December. Oh. Beginning of December I've got skunk. I'm, I'm pretty sure he has been, but what time I've been out this year with that I got stuck. Yeah, we're headed to the boat ramp. I brought my kids out because they're wrong. Because I only, because I really only fish for about 35, 40 minutes. Oh. Well, what you got, but I ain't never been seen that. We weren't skunk today, actually. We caught bait. Oh, we yeah, just I caught, didn't. I caught a skip jack today. Yeah. We we skunked on camera. Where's the uh, spotlight? We want to that. Yep. Yeah, we all caught fish today. I'm gonna try to mess with the live tomorrow and see if I can figure anything out. You guys are always so funny. Love the live streams. We got to get some red Cindy. But get some rest and he will be still be here. Yeah, Travis now I slept like fourteen hours. I am getting tired though. But I slept like fourteen hours last night. Travis, he didn't go to bed till early this morning and we got up at like nine thirty. So he's the one that's uh surviving on not much sleep right now. I hope that uh yeah, it's maybe a data thing has left. We're, we're going to fish again tomorrow night unless something happens, you know. But pretty good chance we're going to fish tomorrow night. So we'll see. We may still get on a fish this weekend. Hopefully. And we may uh, Wednesday night show. I may try to push Wednesday night show out to 530 because of the way work is being. But we, uh, we may move on down to Watts Bar or something Wednesday, depending on how tomorrow night goes. Y'all know, though, we always going to be fishing on Wednesday night. Three pounds, nine ounces from the lake. That's cool. And you're good now. <laughs> I hope that um, some nights are better than others. You know, you can't always have the epic nights, but we've had some pretty cool nights doing these live streams. And I hope we can get you on a better PB there, Cass. I'd like to see you catch something. Even a bigger channel cat. We've got one channel cat spot where you can catch some pretty good sized channel cats. And we've seen about a 30 pound uh, flathead come out of there. So when we go there, we usually, we know we can catch a channel cat and we're hoping about a uh, flathead. So yeah, we'll get you on one. 
this may have to travel a little bit like we do. The closest um, that I ever go to fish, really, besides like when we go to the city park down there in town, um, it's like almost 40 minutes. I, I rarely travel less than 40 minutes to fish. And it's usually more like an hour from the house. That's where I want to go cast last is a uh, Chickamauga. And I actually, I, I know your name, Cass. I just don't know whether you prefer to be called by your real name or Cass. I do so much better with, with names on here than I do with people I know. <laughs> We're going to go get it. Yeah. Hey, Rebel River Cats. There it is. It ain't tipping, I don't think. Yeah, that one. Right there. That one. Huh? That one. There's a fish on it? Yep. Well, are we going to grab this one and see if it's... Let's see if it's got this if it's tagged. Cast blast camp. Yeah, I like it. Dang. Rock and roll, rock and roll. Can you get it? Dang. Uh, okay. Dang. Well, that's good. So At least someone just leave them out here unattended. Yeah. I don't know. They left them to I'm supposed to do that. Where's this other one out here? Right over there. Yeah, I like the <laughs> what you think. Yeah, yep, it's, it's got a fish, fish on it. I ain't gonna stop pulling it up. I'll pull it up. Yeah, it's been out here for hours. They should have been yeah, back, Astro. Yeah. And that's been almost four and a half hours. I'm taking you over to it. I got you. Is that the boat? That's the boat. There, we're going up to it. Is it in front of you? Yep. Is it running? That's funny. I'm in neutral. <laughs> you got it? Little baby? Mm -hmm. Release him. Is it, is it a channel or a blue? Blue. How deep is it? About six feet. Four uh, feet. How much line is on it? About four. About four feet of line. Yeah, and it's rope. It ain't long. <laughs> Is it a trouble hook? Back up. Hold up. Hold up. Just pick it up for a second. Let me get some momentum going. All right, you're not. Is this a is it a trot line?
the hell is this? What does it say on it? Mm -hmm. Huh? It's not a trot line. Is it main pigment? Does it have an address? No. It's just a name? Yeah, I got an 88468 on it. Ain't no address on it. Is that a phone number? number? Don't see no phone number. Eight eight four zero zero six eight. That's a phone number. Come on. Eight eight four. No. Ain't no phone number. Oh, we just saved the blue cap to get it eaten. All right, is there a ton of line out there? Here, let me get past it. This is all over right here. This had an anchor on it. I should have thrown, took the bait off of it. Well, thank you, Cast Glass. Yeah, it's horrible for some all right. and everything. All right, Troy. Good night. Good night, everybody. Got time to break the canoe back out, too. That's cool. All right. Rebel River Cats cast blast, everybody. Everybody that's still lurking. Thank you for coming in to the live and look for us tomorrow night. I know it's hard to watch a pop up. You ain't got no warning, but it'll be tomorrow night. I'll tell you what's up on the bike. All right. Good night, y'all.